<laughs> Yay. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> I was anxious for the pub to open. Oh, uh, there you go. You're banging on the door. I didn't start a can there. I said I'd wait. Okay, so I have, uh, I think I did a little bit better this time. You tell me. Oh, no. Oh, sh uh, no, no. Okay, I'll see you later, Frank. <laughs> uh. I knew that's what you were going to do. There was no point in me saying that, but look, I, I decided I'd join you and have this. I do of... have some Guinnesses, and I got some blonde Guinnesses as well, and there's something called something 25, or I'll have to show you the can for you. To oh, know what it is. Hop House. Yeah, 25. Hop House 25. Don't know that. Oh, That's it's, Guinness. It's, it's the big breweries doing it, if you know what I mean. It's the same lads right. trying to put the small breweries out of business. Right. So, um, okay, I'm going to pop that can. I'm going to pop this. Now, uh, just, but I have, uh, I don't, we don't need to record this. I have this recording and I just thought we do what we just did the last time. If we want to. Do what we did the last time. Yeah. Fine. If it we, gives us free to go to the corner of the pub and have a chat. And if we say, oh, fuck, don't. Don't ever yeah. put that open. Yeah, if I start, we start saying absolute, yeah, filth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll be talking bollocks no matter what, so. Oh, non-Jew and filth, yeah. Yeah. I think okay. we should probably have like some kind of crawl at the beginning that says, anything that comes out of the mouths of these two men is going to be utter bollocks. <laughs> That's perfect. Disclaimer, yeah. Your and discretion don't... advised. <laughs> and, and they literally don't mean a word of anything. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so and then they can talk yeah, well that looks nice that's a dark uh it's an ale you've got an, ale, an ale there yeah uh, i'd be worried uh, for you now with the taste uh, of <laughs> god damn it <laughs> well you know yourself i mean <laughs> i always find if the beer doesn't taste that good you just chuck it it's, yeah i might awesome. move to if it's no good i might move to my uh my guinness varieties yeah che cheers brother cheers to you Clank. Oh, boom. The Black Hole. What's it? The Black Hole Pubs? The Black Hole Pubs. Oh, yeah, it's a great name. Um, I had, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Um, a lot of people stuck with the four hours of our last chat. It's, it's shocking. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's surprising. It is yeah. actually shocking. <laughs> it is. Yeah, but you see, I enjoyed it, so that's what, you know. Oh, then me you too. Could, yeah. But it feels so, you know, that's the thing about those those kind of conversations is you're either, the wavelength either gets you from across the bar and you're pulled into that conversation or not. Yeah. You know, part of my mind, when I looked at it and went, I'll go ahead, I just went, oh, I just I just basically yatter on for four hours. I mean, that was my self-editorial in my head. <laughs> yeah. He just doesn't stop talking. <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't want staff analyzed. You just, you just don't want to go and just look at yourself. What is it about yeah. looking at yourself and you just go, oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's uh, Yeah, it just seems to be way more um, critical or whatever. And that's the process of, you know, being that thing that doesn't exist is the process of that self editorializing on a loop is kind of what that ghost in the machine is yeah permanently that yeah. permanently that yeah yeah and it's just so interesting that's why i was so chuffed to get in here to the pub and talk to you because it was you know i started when i was what well when we last when we last met in the pub um <laughs> You know, you had just come out of that experience, uh, you know, after the film. I don't know if what the protocol here is, whether we're allowed well, to talk I, about that now yet, probably. I, I know, I just think we'd say whatever and we'd cut it out or we'd yeah, keep okay. it until after the film. Who knows what's going to happen with that thing? Because I, I loved it. And anything so I would did you say, watch it? Oh, yeah. Would only okay. be a positive trailer anyway. Like, I loved it. But yeah. uh, more what I was going to say was when we met the first time, you had just come out of that. So a lot of our conversation was about that crucifixion that kind of happened there okay yeah and then i was kind of like you know that was such an interesting you know uh, part of that conversation uh, for me and uh and then as time went by and i watched uh, some stuff that you were started putting out later you know the year went on i think that was almost a year ago or something like that yeah <clears throat> and uh I started to uh, see like, you know, This Is It and Eden and the Halloween film. And there was like, oh, you know, like there was a, 
there was something distinctly different in the poetry that actually made me quite emotional when I was, oh, fuck, I want to get back in the pub with that. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange though, because then you see, you look at though, you know yourself, like, you know, more than any, you look at anything and you go, okay, right, but you, that's, I don't really know what I was talking about then no. either, you know? It's not like uh, you got, you got anything. But it was just something interesting about the, you know, uh, the aftermath of that experience, which I know there's nothing. I mean, there's a question I have for you. Like, although there's Mm -hmm. nothing causal, you can't put any causal time, you know, past, present, future on any of this. But uh, do you think, here's the, here's the, here's the bollocks question. Do you think that uh, anything about that, uh, obliteration uh, set the stage in any way. So obviously a bollocks question, but do you yeah, think yeah, in any cool way thing. in the linear frame it set the stage for for the thing that was about to not happen? <laughs> um, you see, it's very interesting because in the film, I kind of almost want to. I want to be. I want to be really explicit and say in the film, but. It, it's like it's not it's not a cool thing to say in the film, but I want to explicitly say in the film that really it is a, a totally in spite. You, you know what it was, man? It was kind of like when I look back at it now, I still have kind of tremors of that particular yeah. experience in the mind. And it, it, for me, they're pure mind, and it's yeah. When I look at it now, I actually just kind of I, I see the video and I kind of just go oh. <laughs> Poor me having to go through what I went through and that experience staying there. But you could say, you could say that maybe you have to go to the ends of the earth to, mm. to not want to look for anything. You could say, you yeah. know, you could, uh, yeah. I was kind of saying you could go to the ends of the earth to find that what you were looking for was never lost. You could say that. Right. But right. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I, honestly, man, I look at it now and I, Maybe. Well, you know, the one thing that you did say that to me I thought was uh, had resonance around it in the film was, you know, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I do know that I, I basically don't want to be looking anymore. I mean, that was your your thing going in. Uh, yeah. And and there's something, you know, uh, beautiful about that and uh, auspicious for what was about to not happen uh in that way, would you say? Well, yeah, because then you kind of wonder, because uh, you look at it and you listen, to, uh, when I was looking at it and looking at the things that I was saying and saying that I wanted to stop looking and then that's happened, we'll say. Right. Then did that, did it come true? But it, it's just, I, I'd love to, have you ever done anything like that sort of, this sort of thing? I mean, it's no. just- No, no. It's it's a shocking, shocking, yeah, experience. And I, I, you see, and I actually feel like almost it's PTSD, almost in terms of the mind, right? That the tremor or the echo of that experience. Mm. But let park in that because it is the kind of it's the big, you know, because there's a lot of videos out there that will say. 5-MEO and non-duality and they're, then right. can, you know, because yeah. I, I was sucked in by that. There's no right. question I was sucked in by that idea that that could be possible. Right. And, you know, you'd love to be able to say, because I think I even say something like, it would be funny if the thing that I was looking for was hidden in the belly of a toad. It's, yes. You know, right. it's, it's kind of really for a movie or a story. Yeah. It's it's great. It's good stuff. Like it would be a nice linear thing to be able to spin out. Yeah. But that's the weird thing about it is, of course, it's nothing to do with that, and completely in spite of that, yeah. uh, all of that. But but that's what I guess I mean by set the stage is that not, you know. There's not too many experiences one can have that strips away everything in such an all at onceness, which I guess is why that the PST, the reverberations of that, it's like untimely ripped, you know, like just the way you were describing it in our last pub chat of just, you know, is it over yet? Back to the weeds. And then, you know, oh yeah, back to the weeds. Like that, like that is a, a, 
and you know, the whole experience happens, you know, in a very brief period of time. But yeah. in that time, it's, it's obviously very clear that uh, time is off the table. And with time, you are too. Like you are not going to, Frank was not going to survive that five minutes behind the scenes no. at the magic show. He wasn't going to survive that. That was no. clear right at the blast off. Uh, yeah. And yet he came back to the front of house and there seemed to be some more time that went by before whatever didn't happen happened. Uh, but because he went into that, because the character went in thinking, I don't know what I want, but all I know is I just don't want to be looking anymore. And then that little thing, I mean, you could tell a story where, okay, well maybe say it didn't happen. Like I love the part where you guys go, you know what, we can just bail right now. Yeah. <laughs> like it's one of the things that really, uh, that really uh, I was moved about the film is just the sheer brotherhood of it. Like I just, mm. I loved you guys. I could have spent like, it was like the hangover. Like I could have done, spent a lot of time with you guys, those particular characters doing anything, never mind this, what was going to be this mind blowing thing. It was just the, there was just something about that that was, that was great, you know? Yeah, but, there's a bit of sharing. There's no doubt oh, that they experience sure. afterwards when you're sitting in the bar and we're all smoking cigarettes and um, I'll bet. I'll bet. You're, you're just so relieved to be back to, to this, whatever this is, just so yeah. this, let's say ground zero or whatever. Yeah, but right. like you're just returning back this. But oh that's God. why, that's something I was kind of asking you then uh, after like four or five days after the event uh, was what is the, and, and I know, I know you described to me that it was just so radically removed from everything terrestrial and all of that. But I kind of want to re-ask the question now, yeah. like that, uh, that, I don't even know how to frame the question exactly, but that in that uh, obvious and blatant eradication that, that uh, you know, I think at one point you used the, you used the phrase, you know, I, I, I exhaled and, and, and suddenly there was everything. Yeah. So now I'm going to like, so now if I say in the exhalations now, is there, can there, can you, can there be a sense, not in the, as the, the uh, post-traumatic, you know, flashbacks, but is there a, a feeling now of that in the exhalation is always the, like this thing that can't be controlled, this, this, this. <laughs> this, this, um, so, and it's a lot, um, more let's just say it's a lot more gentle that what i mm -hmm. can what frank mccahey can deal with right frank, well, frank mccahey can deal with is deal with the right word but in this thisness yeah it's gentle and you even said that then you said maybe being being the person is almost the the way to keep at bay the everythingness like i think you even you know oh, i wrote did i send on to you that big dark uh, well, no, you, I, I, I think, I think really... you said that to me, like in, I just remember that in the black hole pub, you said uh, something akin to it there that, you know, maybe being a, maybe being a person is like the, the, the dike or the dam that prevents the complete onslaught of this all at once-ness, even now, like being, a, and you said something about, you know, it makes sense why being a person is the predominant overview for everyone because otherwise you got this infinity of fire hose in your face and you know what that's not a gentle thing but yet here and now what's it is you know we you know i don't know i don't no, know, Do you no, know no, 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 no i told you you see i'm very curious about that a few things you said i'm very curious about one is like this a limited like this is a limited perspective uh, here, this is a limited perspective of fucking, and uh, you know this happening. This this scary. Yeah. Is, for me, it seems to be scary. This scary kind of. Um, it's not scary. Is the wrong word, but this. Uh, but has it gotten this, this less shock. scary or, or more scary? Sans the Frank character that never was in I, that way. Sometimes I'm walking around the house and I go, "Holy fuck!" Yeah. A dog, like it's a dog, right? Yeah, and I don't, I, I don't go, oh, it's a dog. I go, yeah. I mean, you know, we talk <laughs> about aliens and all these things. Yeah. And, and I'm just looking, 
Hello. <laughs> you, well, you know, this is just a little, it's just a little bit. Absolutely. Mad. And I, I kind of get hit. That's kind of what I mean. Of, of, and what, I don't know what gets hit by that, though. What is that? It's just this kind of a sensation that kind of arises. And then I, it's I, I don't know. Like, I've never, like, like, you know, you asked, I've never had that kind of, uh, uh, you know, pharmaceutical uh, extreme uh, in that way. But I, part of my journey was uh, peeling back the, the veneer enough to go, holy fuck, like that, that, you know, that just the all at onceness of this, just the absolute onslaught of, of jazz hands forever, like dogs, beer, things, screens, like it's, it's, it is overwhelming by its nature of what it is. And so yeah. it's like that Einstein thing about, you know, time is so that everything doesn't happen all at once. Well, the character is time, so time gets cut off the table, and lo and behold, everything's happening all at once. So even though, you know, uh, the mundane day in, day out stuff seems to happen, the dog is still a fucking alien, and so are you when you look in the mirror, and so is everyone else, and yeah. so is the okay, fact that anything's happening. So that's the kind of... Sh it's shock is the rock, maybe it's still... Uh, yesterday or whatever just got, but still a bit of, there's shock looking yeah. in the mirror going looking in the mirror look seeing right looking and it's uh, it's is it too much so, sometimes I just go what the fuck but I'm, I'm only kind of trying to imagine now so maybe that's why it's I'm it's in my drama it's kind of too much but in that moment of and it's never uh, it's always the surprise it's not yeah it's always a kind of it's not like i'm going around and suddenly got used to i am used to the world i i am not used to fucking anything no and uh, ordinary i don't know ordinary everything is too much like yeah uh -huh. yeah do you know what i mean by that or, i mean some, yeah i just can't like boris says i just can't believe i i'm awake in the movie i just can't believe there's awakeness that this yeah anything at all is happening and, and i think I, and, and i think some people you know the businessman on wall street who's in his life and doesn't believe in anything and is you know whatever to drag him kicking and screaming and throw him down on a cot and give him the five meo blast and say there mr businessman like it would be so not what he would want wish for but but the absolute unwilling stripping away of all artifice uh, it completely is uh, that's surely you see it, from one perspective that can seem like oh that could be an interesting thing to do yeah what what does shock feel like what right. is real a horrendous yeah. shock and who feels shocked but like yes. who, fe yeah. who feels shocked if you throw if you're fast asleep in a bucket of cold water is thrown exactly. on. Who exactly. reacts to anything? Reactions seem to happen. Exactly. And I ca if I was a, <laughs> if I was the master and controller of this, whatever this is, right. then I definitely would be the best psychonaut ever. I would be, I would be talking <laughs> to the aliens now. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. But I, I'm just a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. It's funny. It's just a. Uh... Well, I'm very curious about. It. So, can I tell you the um, thing that? Uh, it's, it's very hard to know. Sometimes, like when you hear other people's, you know, they have dreams at night time, and you're yeah. kind of going, ah, ah, I didn't really need to hear your dream, you know. <laughs> so, no, if it's like yeah. that, just tell me. But part of the experience was um, this sensation of being the one. Being all that is, yeah. So actually, being all that is, right. But in that experience, it was. Um, you see, this is where it's so. It is mind, one way or another. It's the brain, or whatever you want to call this. It's a, a limited interpretation of the unlimited, because in that it was right. um, God trying. This is what we talked about at the very start. God trying to avoid being this everything by right. become by becoming separate but right. 
because right. the the endlessness thing and the inescapableness of trying to get out of yourself, the only way is to forget. Yeah, who you are. See, see I think there's something really even if you wouldn't have said dream or wouldn't have added any chemical influence to any of that, I feel like that's, I can completely resonate uh, with just the idea of that. Like it's like, I think I even said in our first black hole pub chat, you know, that the analogy that was just of course an analogy, but to me, when I came across it, I went, fuck, that just feels so right. Is, you know, God looking in the mirror and saying, what am I? And, and she can't ever, she'll never get the full blown because to, to place herself in a position to squeeze all of that eternity down into one little place. Cause that's the whole idea is, you know, you, to be, to be separate, to be an object in the midst of eternity is like, uh, that's the fallacy. Like that, that actually Eternity can pretend that can happen, but that can't actually happen. But eternity is a lot to swallow uh, for anything that, that, uh, that imagines it's lassoed into a small uh, subjective experience. So yeah. that Niagara Falls through an eyedropper is just going to be too much for the system. And so it's going to have to uh, deal with it in the ways that mind, which is a separate feels like a separate long lasting thing with continuity deals with everything which is to kind of just okay just d dumb that down editorialize 99.9% .9 of the infinity out so i can just breathe here with this little negotiable piece of, in of affinity when meanwhile that's actually the the fallacy and it really just is all infinity all the time and so that's why God looking in the mirror and asking the question, what am I, is like God doing the licking the toads back and going, okay, what am I? And then in the mirror becomes the printout of every conceivable, I mean, she's infinite. So she's going to get infinite answers in that readout. And each one of them is only going to be partial because all she can do is all infinity can do when it's asking finite questions is partialize itself into finite bits. And they might be, you know, unnegotiable finite bits all at once, but that's that's what it has, you know. Does that make sense? Do you know oh man, I mean? like absolutely. See, I'm I actually I'm totally living now. What yeah. you're what you're saying back to me, like totally. Yes. Know, and 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 that's the fucking. So that's what I was waking up in the middle of the night of mm. this. That's the thing that, now I, you see, maybe you could say that's how, what has changed. If things hadn't dissolved, let's just say, let's just put it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If things hadn't dissolved, then um, I, I would have been going to get help. Right. Because right. I would have felt, it wasn't just what was happening. I would have felt there was a problem with me. Yes. Because I'm waking, I'm waking up in the middle of the night and there's this in between just the moment of falling yes. out of sleep in yeah. that split second was, <gasps> oh, fuck. And, yeah. and it's, I'm almost trying to run. I'm trying to run from that. Yes. And then he's, oh, okay. You yeah. just go, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So uh, what I'm, I'm trying to say to you is that that, that, that idea kept playing and play, And it's like as if the brain just kept going, my, listen, I, she, uh, my brain can't, couldn't stop going back like a, a you know putting your finger in the socket and go mm -hmm. what's that idea again oh god that's just and then over and over, i'm in the middle of the night waking up to it and so and almost to the point of i felt like i was going to um shit myself mm -hmm. that bad mm -hmm. yeah so yeah that that it was that uncontrollable Mm -hmm. This this experience and this fear of I can't get out. I can't get out of myself. And then right, we did two days ago. Two days ago, I was just sitting at the edge of the bed, and what happens is it just goes, and then something else. The birds will go by, yeah, or right. a kettle shout, or something yeah. else happen, and it's exactly totally <sighs> gone. To yeah, yeah, totally yeah. gone somewhere else. But in the moment, that's right. In the moment, I was just sitting at the edge of the bed. And um, I just never happened. I think I, just I think, the last little bit is 
I, there was an exhale. Yes. Just an exhale. It was, oh, nothing's real, sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Nothing's real. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing for breakfast? <laughs> and it was just, and it was kind of clear in my mind, okay, that probably is, how is it clear? It's not even clear as a thought in my mind. It was just what I said kind of out loud or, but, all right, that's probably the end of that now. That, that yeah. whole, whole eternity, yeah. limited, unlimited, uh, something, nothing, everything. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Yeah. Just, there's not even any of that, like, it's all just... Yeah. What is it? It's more, I don't know what that is though. What is this idea of nothing and everything? And they're just a. Yeah. Do you know? There, yeah. Like, uh, you know, I mean, from a sign, I mean, I, I've, I've gone down that rabbit hole. If I sent you that, that, you know, what is nothing, you know, from the science perspective, but I like it for its Zen poetry of, you know, it's like the zero and the one, you know, the zero represents nothing. And the one is anything at all, a something. And they okay. are, uh, and the brain is a binary system that can only deal with, is it this or is it that? Is it yeah. a mundane breakfast with the kids or is it falling apart forever? I, I, I need to go get help on the edge of the bed feeling. And it's actually, and then of course it's, it's, it's both. It, 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 that's the thing that the brain goes tilt on is because it's, it is both. It, it has, has always been both. And I think the minds, I don't know whether it's the, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I was going to say it's the mind's function to, as a survival mechanism somehow to, to keep infinity at bay, at a safe distance, to, to keep this non-negotiable, too much for the machine, everythingness. Let's just keep that at a nice safe, because we're never going to get, get to our, you know, paella or whatever you were trying to make there and some nice red wine and going to make the thing that I like to make, like, you wouldn't be able to do that in the middle of infinity unless you had a, a siphoning system to, uh, to oh. pretend to keep everything else, which is infinite away and just uh, have a negotiable uh, way of dealing with the world. Which well, in I, that, in that state, did. like, yeah, yeah, you see that, but that's really interesting because in that state, like the, being the room, the hands, the floor, being everything, um, <laughs> well, where do you begin with that? Or, I mean, you know, yeah, as, and you can't, that's, and, you, that's, and it's like it's too much for me now. It's and we said, and we me. said that last time, like, we can't, like, that's where the crawl goes. That you know, you can't, we're already off reservation, we can't talk about it. You know, I mean, that's the way I put it in our first talk. We're walking south, you know, we're trying to top point to a North Pole, but we have to walk south to talk about it. So we can't, we, we physically, we don't have the language. It's hopeless, it's hopeless. And, and, but because the person is, a, is built in and of language, that's what's hopeless for that. But once that is seen through, then to me, that's where the, the adventure uh, begins in some strange ways, because now it's like, okay, so that, that thing I thought was real, which was me moving through time, now that that's uh, seemingly still present to have all its habitual idiosyncratic things that it does, but because it's been seen through as an actual thing, then, then, then what the fuck? Like now, what is a dog? what is what is my daughter what what like what what is it what is anything now like that's that's the tmi uh, but the brain it, it is too much for the brain so because it's it's the zero and one nothing and everything you know absolutely in a thousand percent the brain just cannot cope can't cope with this and was never going to cope and so you know and that's why you, you know you don't need to you know as we say you know I don't think one needs to jump off the the cliff uh, the to of that necessarily to realize that one is already in free fall off the cliff. I mean that is the the kind of the unfolding unwinding is oh I've always been in free fall. This is just being done free fall forever. And so like I say my analogy with the businessman like for someone who thinks that that's not the case you give them a little bit of the the high voltage heroic dose and that's going to be incapable of being uh, 
Like that's not good. That's going to be so much an anathema to that little worldview that's been built there, little believed in worldview. Yeah, it's just a. Oh, but you see, yeah, and you see, but it's really um, the scary part is maybe a, <laughs> the <I> thing. <laughs> well, he, he, the scary part is. Um, See, actually, Kenneth messaged me one day and said just the words fully alive. Right. And uh, uh, let's park those fully alive words for a second. But mm. the this idea that um, yeah, it's just gone, 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 gone. Yeah. Gone. But do I, you find yeah. that as an occupation, a little bit of an occupational hazard now too? Like, oh, yeah, I, oh, yeah. I totally don't know what I was. No, just saying. what was he saying there? Can somebody yeah. do you do you know what I'm saying? Because I have yeah. no idea. But it's, uh, well, it's yeah. kind of like that. It's the same point of this. Yeah, totally. It's this idea the brain just cannot keep yeah. up. No. And what, 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 was it, what were we talking about? <laughs> That's why I love this pub, you see, because we're free to just go. Yeah, we might as well. We've had 20 pints. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, um, yeah. Going to make a brilliant point. Shut up. It'll come back. Mm. Or it won't, and that'll be the brilliant point. Yeah. It's just, yeah, uh, yeah I, I just find it really, uh, it was kind of, my, that was my, you know, there's a whole rabbit hole too, but that's that whole left hand, right hand thing, right? You know, the, the right hand approach to spirituality, quote unquote, and the left hand okay. approach to spirituality. I know what I was so, going to say, yeah. It's that. Okay, good. I think the average seeker doesn't, the last thing, because you were talking about the layers being um, unpeeled, the last thing or peeled off, the last thing I would have wanted was this. The uh, last, this absolutely. is the right. fucking, the last, last thing. That yes. I had no idea, right. really. That's the truth of that, really <laughs> yeah. and truly. Right. I mean, but how could you have? How oh, could no. he have? He, he was uh, stalwartly avoiding that at all costs. Well, now it's on a that, journey, like. Yeah. I was safe yeah. on my journey. I was getting somewhere. So even, even if, when, even, even when, when well, even when, even when the, you know, the artist formerly known as Frank would have heard <laughs> the, the message like, you know, you know, you might not get, you might not be around uh, when you get what you are looking for. Like when you would hear shit like that, you, when you go through the gateless gate, you're not going to be there to enjoy it, Frank. It's like, oh. Can you look back now and see the way that the Frank mind negotiated that or, uh, you know, like, yeah, okay, I might not be there, but God damn it. Well, the Frank mind is still going on, Frank. It, sure. It's just, the Frank mind is still going on, but I, I don't have the quite, the, the good one, the quite the good one. I don't have the quite the, the beautiful <laughs> one. I, cu I couldn't have. I mean, I got the shit version. That's, <laughs> I wrote, I got the really shit version that nobody wants. <laughs> this, I think this, it's the exact same version that everybody gets, carte blanche, and then people's description of it can get all, well, it's pretty good being no, no, it isn't. No. You, know, you, can't, you can't describe it like, like any of that. Like, it's just not, uh, it's not up for discussion or description. You just don't <laughs> and, have anything. You just don't have you don't anything. Have, I don't have, yeah. like, yeah, that's, I don't have a bank of knowledge. Maybe sometimes you just exhale and it's, Oh, like that, yeah. Like there's, there, there is relief. It, it's, yeah. it's, it, you know, in saying that, this is, this is where, you know, you could say, uh, the fact that you, you write, or say something like, it's wonderful that nothing is real. Right. I, I mean, and that that is, I think maybe the mind, or you, you or the person or whatever, has to go to the, the lengths of every. The brain still goes to the lengths and breadth of every fucking concept almost yeah what it does yeah no, no. because because that's its language we talked about that in our first conversation too like a, like it's it's hopeless because the brain the only thing we have at our disposal to communicate not only our mundane ordinary things but our extraordinary unmundane things is language and language mm -hmm. by its nature is uh is a is a binary it, it has it's, it has nouns and it has people, places and things, and there are no people and places and things. It has subject and object, and there are no subjects and objects. It has time and duration and continuity, and there is no time or duration or continuity. So right away, when the, when the brain wants to talk about 
this jazz hands it has to do it with poetry like that art and filmmaking and image and sound is going to be the closest is going to be the the hope for hail mary closest it's it's, it's ever going to get at maybe giving a feeling of it because it's just not the machine's not built for that it was it didn't come off the factory line to negotiate infinity it came to drive from point a to point b and and not get bump into other cars and have a good car and all of those things it just it wasn't it wasn't even built for the things we're talking about it's hard to describe them uh and it's even a foreign that, language yeah it is that but that idea of infinity you know you would i, I remember hearing it as a kid and i I was really preoccupied with the idea of infinity. Kind of one yeah. is one of those ones that I just wouldn't let go. I would kind yeah. of go, yeah, but yeah, but like, is that very long? How long? I mean, what, right, what, right. What, what, infinity, it, it, like you would that in when a thing is in infinity, right? Well, it's like I heard you, you you've talked about this a bunch of times too. Uh, you know, you can't. The, the mind has to make everything something and it's so it has to make nothing and infinity something it has yeah. to it still has to make it an object uh and infinity is not talking you know eternal is not about a you know a really long time eternal is <laughs> about those are not the right parameters those aren't the work tools for this job you can't words are never going to touch infinity because words are finiteness dealing in finiteness that have invented a word called infinity to point outside of the structure of language to something that language itself can't handle and because mm -hmm. the brain deals only in language could we talk to ourselves we deal in language like the, the or at least the character the character is built in language it's the ultimate sub object slash subject moving through the ten thousand other objects in time so that that whole parlor trick is what the person is and so when the when the when in, when a glimpse of infinity happens in whatever way like simple look at a dog or a, or a huge heroic dose it doesn't matter it's the same infinity you know that's what i was saying to you that on that first pub it's like you 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 when you the minute the body hits the cold ocean uh it might not be a 5 meo dmt full on but in it for a split second there the mind has to go offline and right there is like a little piece of, inf like, you know, it's just never not here. It's just never not here. Uh, that's the left hand, see, right thing. thing. I don't yeah. Know. And it's not that you see, um, I think it can be interpreted as that you, you, you know that it's never not here, but it is in the sentence. It's never not here. Yeah. It's in this and yeah. the infinity thing, you see here is here is this like yeah. this is it and the, yeah. it, the no escaping the, the violence of the meo for yeah. a mind you know i kind of that was part of the film was well would you recommend this and you have to watch the film um but, yeah. <laughs> but what, you what do I, have to watch the film because it is like i say i would have nothing but pure on full-on trailer a positive trailer for it like i'm dying to see it again okay for, for all these for all these reasons we're talking about and yeah, I okay. think, and, and even someone who's never i'm not even interested in taking it like this isn't like oh i i, I the god molecule or whatever i want to tune to that one there's something in there for them too but this there's something in here for the businessman there, there's something in here for everyone this is about uh, this is about so many other things aside from just what it's uh what it's uh, revolving around and uh yeah. that's what i love about it so much aside from the brotherhood and the it's just a really well made fucking film uh, did you um you know we were kind of hitting it for a second there but we went away and at this idea of you know the spiritual game of seeking and mm -hmm. wanting to uh, get this no self thing, right? right. Or, or whatever. Um, but the the and say that there's you know people go to countless talks and retreats over and over and over and over again. They go read gazillion books. They go looking right. everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And I'm, I'm feeling. I mean, I have a feeling nobody, people don't want to hear it <laughs> at all. Not really, not really and no. truly. They don't really want to hear 
this is well, e even people are even people that are certainly anyone who's not in that meeting way more people are in way other types of meetings than are in those meetings anyway so there's most of the population doesn't want to hear it anyway yeah. but even the people that are there the people that are there they none of them want to hear it no. none of them want that water that's being sold by that river you know even when they get the taste that oh this you know like it's not a wantable thing by a person no who seek even a person seeking to be not a person anymore yeah. it's especially not a wantable thing for that person because you know they're they're going to get what they came for which is absolutely fuck all and that's going to be and and to be told that that's going to be the glory hallelujah that you get the fuck all that you were you know like you, you're not gonna that's not going to sell a lot of brochures you're not going to put bums on seats that way you know no as you are you're as you are this is it's absolutely perfect yeah as you are. that's and you know the agenda -less thing behind it is a but like I say, you have to be, you know, you and I, uh, as as characters, know well enough that you got to be at a certain threshold in the unwinding of your own narrative to even find yourself in one of those rooms going, what the fuck did you just say again? Like, you have to be at a certain uh, place in your own dissolution to be even like... Uh, Mm. interest in, and i mean that in the uncompromising message places yeah. like in the tonys or the kenneths or whatever like you know uh, you have to be you know there's a lot of people in the spiritual community like i've sat in lots of like you know places you don't want to like wow like this is totally not what this is about but and those people for sure don't want to go down the street you know this that was all good your whole meditation workshop but come on thursday night and sit with this guy and, and you know because that they they won't want to hear that they'll studiously no. avoid that because then the story has to end they don't want their story to end no one who wants their story to end nobody that's death so no one wants the end of frank to be what frank was searching for all along even the subtle part of frank that goes yeah okay but i want a little bit of that no frank yeah i, I want I some of that i want yeah. some of that a little bit yeah yeah just give me a taste of it again uh and you see that's the thing i think as well that's why you, you know some of the language that you would read from old scripts like the lion's mouth because mm. I do have a distinct right. uh, memory of, um, of the sense of uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I don't, I don't want. No, no, yeah. no I don't want. I don't want yeah. any of this now. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Can I just forget? Yeah. Can I forget all this, please, and go back to eating the steak and go back? Yeah. To, exactly. Just, it's the red. You've taken back. the red pill. It's yeah, too go late. back. Go back and just eat the steak again. You know, yeah. I just and not have to. Yeah. And unfortunately, and fortunately, it's just too late. You've taken the red pill, and now you can still order the steak, medium rare, but now the steak, it, it, it's going to, you know, it's going to uh, appear way more interesting, you know, like the dog in the kitchen or whatever, like, and not all, you know. But it is, though, you see, though, it is, the, the, and maybe, see, that's the thing that really, um, maybe, see, in a way, because it's always seen, it's, it's always known. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of like, you learn, do you learn to kind of go, not get too excited about, you learn not to get too excited about this, or, oh, look, it's a fucking cloud, or yeah. look, that tree, or you learn to kind of, just, or, or you learn not to. You learn to don't care about people who think, God, Frank's going on about the clouds again. Like, you know, whatever. You learn not to give a fuck about either way. Yeah, you learn in some way, shape, or form how to deal with this or a method. You think yeah, you, you know, because there is that, you know, like, like the lion's mouth cliche, there's all the other cliches too. Like, you know, chop wood, carry water, you know, feed yeah. my kids, walk the dog, clean up Pick the up shit, the mow my yeah. lawn. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like those things, you know, you know, and you can, and all the requisite things that go with that. It, like absolutely, you know, of course, as you know, nothing changes, like zero changes. Mm. And yet the, that non-change change, change uh, has some uh, j jazz hands to it now because the you know, and that's why I always love just to you know, like I say, yeah, this is why the, you, you beer in the pub. You uh, 
there was like, you know, mountains are mountains and rivers are rivers and then mountains aren't mountains and rivers aren't rivers. Oh, but now mountains and mountains are rivers and rivers again. I, I always thought that's the way I heard that. But then I realized it was kind of missing. The, the first, the whole first part was that mountains were never mountains and mm -hmm. rivers were never rivers and dog shit was never dog shit and daughters were never daughters. And then daughters were daughters and dog shit was dog shit and mountains were mountains. It, it, it was always the way it was found out at the end before. Mm. Like we, the, the human story comes late and just goes, you know, well, we've eaten from the tree of knowledge and, and this is just the way it is now, you know, like, so, but really it was never that way. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it was just, it was just never that way. Mountains, mountains were never just mountains and rivers were never just rivers. Uh, and then, the, so then they were never that, and then they were that, and then seeking begins, and oh no, they're not that, and then seeking ends, oh yeah, they're just rivers and rivers and mountains and mountains again. But never the same now, because it, it's, you know, in, the infinity is, is hosting this show that you are, you know, that mm. you, you are that show, you know. You're not. You're no longer in the, the the little theater for one. Well, you are. You still get the <laughs> you get the f best front row seats to your own crazy neurotic character. I mean, I don't know about you, but the more the more I became privy to the 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 fiction of the Michael character, the more like that guy is whacked. Like he he and all the ways he thinks and all the way the way that whole idiosyncratic crazy neurotic thing was put together was a bit uh is a bit uh it's pretty whacked but then you look around the open ward that we live in and you mm. go oh well everyone's whacked oh it's an insane asylum in that way of course it's whacked everyone's whacked you know because that's you know everyone but it's chaos it's chaos yeah. yeah it's chaos and yeah, you see, I was wondering out there when you were talking, like the only thing that I can say is, you know, what the no change. The only thing I could say is that um, the, the seeking or the imagination or the dream or the sense that it could be other than it is, right, is gone. It's, it's not that it's gone away, it's, it's just gone. Yeah. So, in other words, that all that is left to say, what I was, whatever I'm experiencing or going through or whatever seems to be happening, it's it's not that it's it, there's no um, <laughs> there's just no tickets. It's no it's not an escape card for um, no, not this, at all. Uh, it, it's, it's, not, it's not it's not anything at all. And in a way, if, just to jump in for a sec, in a way, the person was the escape card. The, the person the, was the, the escape card, yeah. Was the, the constant, oh, no, no, I, I got my escape card. I got my escape card. Too much, too much. I got my escape card. Yeah, that I'll was the back thing in that now. was flat. Yeah. This is more like the VIP pass to, no, it's, it's way more intimate. It's like it's the non-escape escape card. It's like it's there's full the on, no, the no, full on, no full escape. On. Right. And no, no escape, one to no. escape, uh, no that, one and, to escape, and that's, nothing that's to escape thing. from, and that's the thing, yeah. That's the thing. Uh, it's just that, that possibility of that snowball coming down the hill being anything other that, than yeah. that, that movement of right. what is. There's just no... Whereas maybe there would have been an idea like, that there could be more better, calmer, more attentive, more... Right. Blah, 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 blah. Right. And all of that now. Equally, you could, yeah, you, exactly. you could have that. Oh, I probably should have been listening better there, <laughs> or you know, that could that will that will appear, and that but yeah. it just kind of will appear, and then okay, it would be. But the weird thing now is, like you say, you know, everything appears now. It, it all nothing changes in terms of, you know, everything appears just as it always had is, but there is like what's. It's like something isn't gained, you know, and this is all just language, language, language too, but it's all those things about the gateless gate. It's not that some new uh, thing starts happening uh, yeah. that marks the end of seeking. It's that mm -hmm. some old thing stopped happening yeah. or at least stopped happening to an extent that it could be seen in real time as like, wow, get a load of that. 
Like mm -hmm. that, that can't be, that can't be real because I'm seeing it from here. It's like, I think I used the analogy in our first talk about the getting a bit too close to the, the magician in the backyard. Like once you've seen the trick of how the Frank character is pulled off, then even though the trick every morning on the edge of his bed gets played again and, 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 uh, and then breakfast gets made, something now knows that the, the, the trick is the trick right down to just the intimacy of how could that the whole, the whole thing was being done, but you're not, you were never the doer thereof, you know, you, this, the whole thing is just being done, but it was, but the snowball down the hill was being done in real time way back in the, in the old seeking days, it was still yeah. being done. And now in the post seeking days, it's just the realization, realization that, oh yeah, it was, it's just being done. And you, you know, new. it's interesting you'd say if I was to pinpoint a, a moment, say it was a moment in time. Let's just say a pinpoint. Yeah. A I want to hear the story. Tell us the story, Frank. <laughs> Tell us the story, Frank. You see, it's so rubbish. It's so, but you see, so well, that's we'll why, you know, we'll if, somebody, if somebody said to me, oh, Frank, you're still, you're still a seeker. You're still, yeah. you're still fully there and you're talking through your whole, I go, okay. Yeah. So, but if I was to pinpoint a moment, and it's not even because like every day is a moment. Yeah. So, but if I pinpoint a moment, it's kind of like, shoo, there's the circle, shoo. It's a, a split second, and not even a split second, but a moment of, okay, any realization is also going to be done. Any, yeah. any understanding is going to be done. Yeah. So, that was being done and this yeah. was being done. So what's what are, what am I going to do now? What what is happening is what's going to be done and right. am I going to get really excited about this? I'm not even going to get And if I do, that'll it. be get done. And, and if I don't that'll yeah. be what's happening. Am yeah. I going to get really was, yeah. Yeah. And then retroactively you look one looks back through the time that doesn't exist and goes, Oh, that whole, you know, fifty seven year thing, that was all being done the whole thing was because once once it's seen that it's being done everything for everything retroactively gets seen as having been done it's the present so is it's just done. So possible it's that this possible. the possible that the reaction is being done you see the yeah. person you'd always go or well, it must be no, no. something in this for me no and no. It's there just, just like, never was but but in a way the the good news about that not a good news for the me but it's like a change of occupancy because the good news is that the, <laughs> the, the you that you really are, the, it's just like your me went from being a little skin encapsulated thing moving through time to the, the gestalt of your experiential bubble at any given time from now to an imaginary deathbed. That becomes the, the, re, the you, that, that you're, you've just uh, become a new, a new me. You can still say the word, I just doesn't mean I encapsulated by the skin and encapsulated by the time frame of the body. I becomes the, and whether you're in a dream or a pharmaceutical or a cleaning up poo in the backyard, it's still just all, the I is still present. It just, I don't, not the personal I, the, the I as in something is here. Something's you, you have to that's, be that's that thing. Something. Yeah. But you can't be any different than that thing that's showing up. Whatever's showing up, it can't be Frank over here and then all of the stuff happening. You, all, all of that included, happens together. All included, yeah, yeah, it's that's, radically inclusive. Yeah, the, yeah, it's all. And but you see, it's so impossible in a way. You can't tell that to someone. No, because yeah. oh, because what 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 are you saying? You're not actually saying that. You just it seems to be. You, but you can say, oh, that's what I seem to be saying now. I seem to be saying that yeah. this is just a description of what is. That's what I, that's what I seem to be saying. Is that what I'm saying? Because really, yeah. it's a lot of shit like what I'm saying. Just remember that, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, and you see, that's interesting, you know, when you say this idea of everything, you know, you, you're the, the, the lock, stock and smoke and two smoking barrels. Yeah. Now, from um, my perspective, all I can say is well, there's what's happening. And I don't know anything else 
But did this everything thing, baby? I have no but, clue. But if you me. started to do a, t if you started to do a running tally of everything happening, so there's the Michael across the screen, apparently in Canada, and here I am in Ireland. Like you, what the, the then you're saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the radical inclusion of everything happening, which is just words, is everything happening. All the yeah. thoughts about it, all the, eff like everything happening. Yeah. And there's no, there can be no, there can be imaginary division lines in everything happening, but they're imaginary division lines happening in everything happening. So it, it, it the whole thing comes with all the act, the there isn't an act, there isn't the acquisition there you see that's the no. thing so it, 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 includes, it, all along. it yeah. includes me say for example me being somehow tomorrow i wake up and go fucking hell i'm gonna now uh i'm gonna take up yoga and i'm definitely right. going to experience say whatever blah 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 right, right. Would right. Appear, if that was to appear to happen that would be what is Right, of course. Inescapably. But there's well, also like the weird, the weird thing too, which is, you know, uh, is that there are, ironically enough, there are propensities for this, uh, these characters, you know, like uh, your wardrobe, you might have woken up on stage to realize you're just a character in the drama, but your wardrobe fits you the best so you're not going to wear the other characters wardrobes you're going to wear yours and and your yeah. wardrobe comes with your character biography and all of those things so you know though i always love that when people would say like uh okay but what if i if what you're saying is true then why don't i just become a serial killer and yeah. just go out and like kill people and uh, <laughs> or just like you know well if that's gonna be what happens that's then exactly i guess right, that'll yeah. be what happens but but it uh, my guess is, having known you for a little while, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Just but, so you but, know. But if it so, did, you know. They, they never say, they never say, uh, I mean, I could just go out and give all my money to poor people yeah. and, and, and well, feed them and wash their feet every single day for the right. rest of my life and feed, you know. I, I could do that. It's always going to kill somebody. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, in the, in yeah. that, it's always yeah. the worst. They're going to blow up everything. And rah, because because that's all predicated on that idea that I'll be, uh, I will find liberation, and when I am liberated, I will be all the things that I imagine a liberated person to be, mm -hmm. and so whatever view that 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 seeker has about what finding looks like, that's all they can imagine mm -hmm. is their view of what finding will look like. Well, they're in for the surprise of their non lives because it's going to look like nothing like they imagine because what's going to be seen as you as you see is that that whole thing's being done anyway. So if you didn't want to if you wanted to save the whales before and you don't want to save them now or whatever like like it's it's more now it's just like okay but it was, but then what's seen is it was always just, okay. Yeah. Like how many times in my terrestrial life did I go, you know what, I'm just, you know, I'm just never, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to, I, I can't, <laughs> write again. God damn it. I'm going to write myself a sticky note. Do yeah. not do that again. And then yeah. got to three <laughs> weeks later, you know, oh my God, I did it again. You know, like that was always happening anyway. But now it just becomes kind of becomes official, like, oh yeah. That's right. what I'm oh right, that's what I'm up to now. That's yeah. what I'm up to. That's what I seem to be doing. Or that yeah. although, yeah, yeah it's, you could say because there's no strings to the the puppet anymore, then the puppet character is able to be as much as a dickhead as he ever was, but also right. probably less now anything's possible, so all of this anything's, study, exactly. anything's, possible, so anything's possible, so there's no point really. Yeah. But 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 you know, but but you I know, know it's a, I know, and that's it. but it's a fine you know in this pub I I because everything's inclusive. Let's in, let's include that. Like yeah. it is possible that you know when you recognize, like you know, I don't know, like what's a stupid example, like you know, like take a a Moses commandment or whatever, like, you know, do unto other, the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you or whatever. Mm -hmm. Once, once it's seen that in essence, you are the other person, you're likely 
even if you're a career serial killer, you might go on serial killing because, hey, well, you know, it's just this and it's just me and this is, you know, this is my propensity. So whatever, mm -hmm. you know, now I'm an awake serial killer. Maybe, Maybe but yeah. I, there's some little thing in my mind that goes, oh, hang on, because all of those uh, doing unto others as, you know, fuck everyone else. I'm the king of the castle. You're the dirty rascal. Though all of those downloads are, are, about, are, are personal predicated yeah. on a survival i need to be you know one up in the conversation i need to have the halo around me and if it's around him for too long i want to grab it back yeah, and yeah. All, of, all of those things are the personal they're not just the idiosyncrasies of the character they're the the character hanging on to the idea of the character at all yeah. costs I need to. I need you to be who you are, so that I can be who I am. Yeah. And if you stop being who you are, then I, what does that mean for me? And so, you know, it's the negotiation then. Yeah. yeah. And I think when so if if you say, so that's why if you took a random hundred thousand population whatever, and you just said everyone out of the pool, and you took those hundred thousand people from disparate economic backgrounds and whatever backgrounds, you just took random hundred thousand people. And you just like snap the fingers and they all instantaneously realize that they were all of this and that they were, they were never what they believed they were, whatever, however you want to say that. You just wave the, the, the magic wand and the non-shift shift occurred for those 100,000 people. And then you did a study. Okay, everyone now and come back in a month and I want to talk to you got people about because you did the before and after <laughs> test. My mind would like to believe the story that when they came back, if there was, well, you know, it's funny, Mike, when I used to, I used to beat my wife all the time. And uh, after this thing that happened, I, I don't, I find myself not beating her so much. You know, <laughs> like, like I, I would imagine that, yeah, why do you think that is, Bill? You know, like th th there's, you know, Bill, not Bill. Like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think there's just... And the only thing Bill would be able to say is, mm, that just seems to be what's happening now, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, Mark, he'd just go, yeah, I mean, I can't really give you a good explanation. Is that, I mean, it's just... But my bet would be theoretically in the in the laboratory. I would go. My bet is when Bill comes back in a month, he might not be beating her so much now. Yeah. He, all of those defense mechanisms of keeping the world at bay and and keeping her down so that he didn't feel so small because he's a self-loathing little bastard or whatever. Like those things were gonna. Those those strings were gonna loosen when the puppet strings were cut. That's my mind, maybe trying to put a, a happy ending on that story, but you know. I you see, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, I've thought about that though as well. And it, you see, if you look at the extremes, let's say the the is the person the extremes. Like I could go in, get into a big fucking discussion with somebody, but have zero or, or really, really it would seem. For Andy, that I really feel passionate about it, but then somebody could say something, and the conversation would totally go vroom because I don't ho I don't don't care about my yes. point of view somehow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know that's a perfect you, example, right? Where could, previous maybe it'd be like, hang on, no, 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 uh, hang on, we're talking, we're still talking about this or whatever. Yeah, you you could just there'd be some. You know yourself, you can remember arguments where you just, you know, with the, your missus or whatever in life, you kind of just go, oh, I fucking got the last fucking word in there or yeah. whatever. And that, yeah. I mean, that could still happen. So it just <laughs> seems like in, you don't, you don't care. That, yeah, that's, that's what, and, and it's not that like because that. we say, we have to say it in language, you don't care, but there's a, there's just a less of a, because the whole thing, the whole enterprise of the story of the character moving through time is an attachment, an attachment to the feeling of the character moving through time. When that attachment is loosened and let go, all of the requ requisite attachments that came with, not only came with, but built that character. You know, we built this city on rock and roll. We built this, this character on his attachments, you know? And so when the attachments are taken away, Oh, now the halo's moved over there on the table, and half the time I can't hold the thread long enough to give a care about getting back to that thing that I thought was really important. A. And B, why why would I waste time making? Oh, let, let's get back to my tap dance. You know what I mean? I don't know. That. Yeah, well, you see, these it's kind of though the essence of it is that at its very best is can you do you see me now? 
Do you fucking see? Do you see me and what I'm saying to you? Can you hear me now? And do you get, really just please, 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 please see me? And, yeah. and that's to me is the whatever yeah. way it's whether it's Trump or your three year old or that's Hillary it. or whatever it is. Yeah. Can you can you see me? Because I can't. So if yeah. I shout as loud as I can and have the strongest opinions and yeah. really do powerful, amazing things, maybe finally yeah. you'll be seen. Because and it's and you you can't see yourself no matter what way you look, even if the story is there and you can get yeah. your new car and you can get the beautiful car and that deep dissatisfaction of the new car. <laughs> You've got it there. And really what you need is then to go and show it to somebody because you, it's not enough for you to sit yeah. in the car. You need well, somebody else to feel lesser or yes. whatever. To you have really to be have, in that hierarchy, exactly. You have I to think that's why you have a lot of depressed billionaires. I mean, they could do a doc uh, if there hasn't been one done already. It's like, once you have everything you ever hoped for as a character, why do you still have depressed CEOs of big companies going, well, fuck, I, I got the wife, I got the five Ferraris, and why do I still feel a, a general gestalt of dissatisfaction in my daily life in this mansion? You know, it's like, because there's a rosebud something back there that uh, started this whole dream. Uh, and that's, that's just never going to dissolve until the idea of being that, that character dissolves. But you, but those, you know, the character of a CEO is built of a certain way. Like that is a, a divide and conquer kind of, you know, it's going to take a long time to chop that. It seemingly it's going to take longer to chop that tree down. Well, because um, uh, your your that universe has to die. Like that universe yeah. has to implode. Right. The it seems you see that yeah. makes it seem like a process, but it, it does no, seem yeah. that um, when I I can only talk for myself, but when this when you start to really really hear what's happening here, you. Yeah. <laughs> Like we talked about, there isn't uh, not an awful lot in it for you, really. Sorry, no. sorry. Yeah, and there, yeah. in fact, zero in it. In fact, yeah. for you to they all all the ideas of you being invested in anything. There's like negative plus side here. Yeah, so, yeah. Like you, you really know. need to reverse out the driveway now. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go back to being miserable because at least you have exactly. At least you have been miserable. Do I'm you know the miserable I mean? one. Exactly. I, I, I get to be miserable. I get because you can't even be miserable. Exactly. Being being a nobody, like being a somebody and being all of that is is a perfectly great, wonderful character that everyone aspires to. But you know, being well, I'm I'm nothing, you know, forget about me. Don't even look at me. Is yeah. is a total look at me. Look yeah. at me, I got nothing. Is is as much of a it's no different. Yeah. From the character who has, look at me, I have everything. Look at yeah. me, I have nothing. It's still look at me. It is, it is. It's yeah. the, you're, I was talking to Kenneth even just about this, you, making the, the person, making themselves a piece of dirt almost. Mm -hmm. Nap, I am a piece of filth, dirt. Yeah. I am the tiniest speck. Yes, yeah. And the tiniest speck on this vast universe. Yeah. As opposed to being the all conquering king, which right. is still, it's still, you're totally alive though. You yeah. still get to be that. Yeah. And and self-loathing is still a lot of self. One could even argue there's a lot of there's a lot more self in self-loathing than self-aggrandizing. Yeah. Which is more of a self, the self-loather or the self-aggrandizer? I don't know. I put my chips on both of them actually. <laughs> I think they're both going to be equally hard to dis disassemble. Uh, yeah. you know, maybe a little bit easier for the one well I got nothing anyway, so I might as well go to that sad song and have Tony tell me that I'm going to get nothing. Cause like maybe, you know, whereas the CEO and the Tony said, well, I don't know, that's my brain going into character, but in a way, but. Yeah. But I think, I think it is all that though. I mean, yeah, of course it's, you see the thing, the killer, that's, we, we both, uh, that's what's um, being done, you know, so it's all yeah. still being done. You see, that's the, what are we even talking? You know what I mean? That's, yeah, the, that's totally. the mentalness that it's yeah. still, and that's that killer too, is like, you know, yeah, I love yeah. it. We should just go down that rabbit hole for a little bit. Just that whole, the alarmingness of the reality of being done. Because when you hear that as a concept, you know, yeah, like, or even when like, I remember coming across the, the Libid experiment thing and going, well, they, they tell me that 
six seconds upstream in my brain, my brain is firing for it's going to grab that glass and bring it up. And then, but it was, that was being decided by the committee unseen six seconds before. Now I'm taking it and a little guy is going to go, look what I just did. Look what the committee just decided. And that's yeah. going to be how I do everything. Yeah. What? Six. And it used to be like, you know, point, it was like, 0.67 seconds, I could almost get my head around, but then they started going, actually, no, that, those brain firings are happening up to six seconds before you decide to do anything. Even in my empirical head, when I, when I came across that bit of neurology, it went like, come on now, like, like how is that even, but that's, that, that is approaching the idea of what we're saying. Being done is being done across the board. So there's nothing in my head that said, and now Michael emphasize it with being done. Like it's a, it's a, it's a loop that just keeps uh, the whole thing, every single fucking quark, the whole thing is being done. And the, and that the, the, the human story, every time, after thought, reaction, every, like every everything. Time. I mean, it is, that's and and even yeah. even as you were pointing out before, even the idea of suddenly being out of the story, suddenly realizing that, oh my God, this was all just being done, and there never was really any solid mm. Frank Mahat. That That's was done, also yeah. being done. Like holy mm. fuck, it's almost like and the holy uh, fuck has been done. Exactly. And the fucking and this and that that needs to happen done. <laughs> it, it's going to be done. And it and don't it don't, don't break it. Don't <laughs> break it now. You're breaking it too early. Don't break don't the know. seal. Don't break the seal. It was like the. <laughs> no, you, that's what, what don't you break. break. The seal, Once yeah. you break the seal, that's it. Yeah, that's it now. It's like the. Uh, this was the phrase that came to me in my head. It was like you know. Um, it wasn't that. Uh, like so, is it that is it that Frank just couldn't quite let go of non-duality for a period of time? That's the one story, or is the real story that this, what this is, wasn't quite ready to let go of Frank? Those are two very different things, <laughs> you know. Like was was Frank not? I'm not quite ready to let go of non-duality yet. Yeah, but that's not the real story. To me, the real story is this: jazz hands just wasn't quite ready to let go of Frank yet. Mm. And that is a completely one's a character-driven thing. Well, Frank will let go of non-duality when Frank. No, he won't. No, mm. he won't. What this is will let go of the idea of Frank. Uh, that's the only thing that can happen. Frank was never going to get let go of Frank. Mm, the mind, never. Never gonna, the mind, you know, Frank was never going to like uh, get rid of the mind, but the mind, uh, but the mind may get exhausted at the idea of holding the plate spinning character of Frank up. So it's the mind that, you know, upstream six seconds that got tired of the, yeah, what is the, you see, this, what is the thing that doesn't happen? What is the thing that we, get, we, we, we... You tell me. <laughs> yeah, what is that, this thing that doesn't happen, you see? Yeah, That's, what is that, that gate, gateless fucking gate? What, what is the, that? What the fuck are they talking about, you know? Yeah. What, do you know what's the thing that well, doesn't happen? Well, well, yeah, well, you tell me, because, you know, all I knew is that I, you know, it's like, it's like the Chinese finger puzzle was never going to get, the Chinese finger puzzle of seeking was never going to get out of. Uh, the seeker in question was going to have to be questioned enough that it was, the seeking energy was just the pulling on the Chinese finger puzzle of seeking. The, there's no way to describe it. it Can you it, remember Endgame? You know the way I described that? It's like a, it was basically a circle completing itself. Yeah, that's a circle, a loop. But that's mm -hmm. like that's that's the only way I can. Uh, well, and that's a perfectly it. fine way. I mean, T. S. Eliot, we shall not cease from exploration, and the end of our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. You know, T. S. Eliot was saying that. You know, before I ever applied that to seeking, I went, Jesus. No. T.S. Dude, <laughs> we, we shall not cease from exploration at the end of our exploring. We'll arrive to where we started and know the place for the first time. So you're, you know, 
it's always going to be so then all of those tropes of uh the gateless gate and the journey from here to here i think i have a book in a somewhere like you know the journey from here to here what do you mean the journey from here to here yeah. you know all of those things you there know, must like, be a journey you there must be a journey. journey must be a journey yeah but here, you, do you have a yeah. moment like when um you know ken used to say it's a 360 degree turn but obviously that meant nothing to me to, to you know a 360 degree turn to return to exactly where yeah it is o only because nothing 360 is nice because it's you know i used to hear 180 because that was the idea of looking out this way and making everything predicated on the movie screen of my life appearing here with all where all the looking is happening at this half of the circle to to the 180 is like just the question well what's looking so the 180 instead of like you know it's like the saint francis of assisi thing or whatever you know like what you're looking for is what's looking but when you're looking you're never going to find what's looking because you're looking but it when it turns around 180 degrees now you're looking at what's looking and then you know everything kind of can fall apart that's the 180 math the 360 math would be that whole thing is about the fact that well this was never looking anyway. Yeah, what's looking is what's looking. That's what's looking. What's it was looking already, is... there was not even any 360 degrees. It was yeah. just, it was already just looking for, not even for looking sake. See, that's the whole, that's the crawl that we put at the beginning of the pub. It's like, you know, everything, it's stored. Yeah. Well, you might as well like flash the word apparently, we don't, flash yeah. the word bullshit yeah. like every two seconds. We because, don't need anything. <laughs> Because it's all a story because that's as soon as a mouth opens, uh, even when it's talking about this stuff, if we, even if we were talking about widgets, that's going to be true. But especially when we're talking about this stuff, what has to be owned and understood right away by no one is that you can't, uh, language is, ne it's all going to be bullshit. Language is never going to approach because as soon as the poetry begins, it's in a story because it's yeah. in a sentence because it's in time. That's why the refresh rate thing for me was such a powerful one because where would you even store a story if you had no time to do it? You know, I need, I need at least once upon a time and then something, but if I can't even get out the once upon a, if I can't even get out that much and I'm already zeroed back to zero, mm -hmm. then then I, I either keep tap dancing my story because I have some kind of overarching point that's going to get back to the idea that there is no story and that words are pointless, but yeah. it doesn't really matter, you know? <laughs> like, like I'm fucked to be, I'm, like, I'm just fucked from square one. But yeah, the good well, part see, is there's no square one, so. Well, it's brilliant to be able to say whatever the fuck you see as well. You see, that's the, there is a sort of a non-dual, see, a thing for me actually was, I used to absolutely, because somebody was writing, doing websites and talks and writing books, yeah. I was convinced, apparently convinced that was somebody has found an explanation yeah. for this that must be satisfactory because they're saying, this is it, look, it's great. Right. Or what, that's what I'm hearing. Sure, sure. I didn't hear the, uh, sorry, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, no. because There's that's- no other way it could be heard. Yeah, I just heard, but do you, do you know what I'm saying? Because when there, it, it is interesting and quite brave in a way that there are websites and talks and well, you know, like I, and whatever the fuck. Like uh, when you when you did, you know, this is it and Eden and the Halloween film. Like that was my thing. The last time I talked to you a, a year ago, quote unquote, you had just come from your experience four days previous or whatever. And wow. then when I started seeing your, like when I saw Leaves and Thoughts. I'm sorry, dude. Like I had a, I had a, I, I had a good on full on cry because <laughs> it was like, it was so beautiful. And so the words were pointing outside of the word. First of all, the, the, you know, the, the word was the thing you were, you were using cinema and music and your words, but the amalgam of those things it was so clear, like a Trojan horse clear, that I knew where you were speaking from, like mm. immediately. Like the sniff, the, 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 the resonance is immediate, you know? 
or like if I read a, you know, Nancy neither cut poem, it's like, you know, okay, like you, you had me at hello. Like I, I know that you're not just, this is, this is pointing to something non-specific, specific, you know, mm. it's like that uh, Cezanne, you know, art has to have a, within it a taste of nature's eternity like if it has a, if art whatever the art form is has a little taste of nature's eternity and her and her impermanence i think as the quote goes then wow that then it's evocative whether it's a painting or a sculpture or a story or whatever and when i you know when you did leaves and thoughts and then all the ones that came after that whatever that non-event event happened it was there, even though no word, no piece of cinema, no music, no amalgamation of thoughts can ever approach what this is, that does, because yeah. it just fucking does. I don't know how. It's a and fucking magic trick. But also, you know, what's lovely about those somehow, what's lovely, even though you could say, I know that I made those videos, still I can, I get this, I must go, I would have a look, because I don't have that sense of, do you know, I, when I right. look at them, I kind of yeah. get, the, I'm going to look at those again. And yeah, yeah. Because you know, it, I, you really don't have a clue what you're doing. Like no, I but I, and I think that's I think that's kind of cool. I mean, I always found that we don't that have from... a clue what we're doing now. Like, we're like no. you know, so that's no. I mean, we okay, we can name and say we're making a podcast or we we're having a conversation or whatever the fuck. But in say that, in the same way, you kind of that's what's just happening. Yeah, that's just happening. And then what might happen afterwards? They'll go, oh, geez, that was a load of shit. You were really shaky on the camera, or. Yeah, then, all of those things. All of those things are whatever. And then you yeah. can still look at them and go, oh, I don't, I don't feel like I made that. There isn't a feeling. No, no. Like and you know what? And that's the point. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't. It's just what happened. It's but just there is what happened. Thing, but like, I, mean, I could never, there was a time where I realized that, you know, like, like I think I described a little bit of that in our first podcast, like when I would act on stage or, or what, even like look at rushes or whatever, I could be very clinical and go, okay, that's clear. That's, that's not clear. Oh, that was clear. That was clear. That's not clear. I could get very clinical about the clarity of how that character was being whatever. But when something was in full flight, if enough critical threshold of homework had got, have gotten into place and now something just got to take place by itself, which of course it always was, then even when I would go back to it and look at it, you know, whether it's in rushes or dailies or look at a film years after I'd done it and see a particular piece of going, wow, that was free fall there. That was the camera caught the free fall of that guy. Script, mm. The scripted version of that guy, like the actor bumped into the stage manager, everyone put their bags in the wings, walked on empty handed and that happened. It's only something in the mind that would jump in and take credit for that. Wow, we did a really yeah. good. Uh, <laughs> I did a really good moment. I did a really good moment there. Yeah. But 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 the recognition is like no, you didn't, yeah. and that's why you didn't is because you didn't you you weren't there, and that's why it was so good. You could say that about any art form for sure. Like you know, the more the artist is there, the less the artist gets to uh, express what he's really trying to express. The less the artist shows up. And uh, yeah, that light get out of the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all of that, all of that stuff, mm. all of that stuff. But yeah. you know, I, 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 I you know, mm. I think you're like I, I, I totally know of that. Uh, you know, oh yeah, well the camera's a bit shaky there. No, yeah, like all of the minutia that the brain, after the fact, can come to. Mm. But then what's forgotten is that. By the time it hits my airwaves and I just sit down and go, oh, Frank's put another thing up and I just press play and go. I am I don't know any of that backstage nonsense. Yeah. All, I, all I am is taking this ride of these leaves and like, like when I saw that little dandelion and I heard a mower in the background, I was like, I might as well have been in a Francis Ford Coppola film. It was like, oh no, this is going to be, wow, that sucker is going down. Like I just knew it. And, and then the dog and the, even the things that were like, when the bird is in the yard, the, the, the radio, because everything becomes salient at that point. There, there, there's a radio broadcast going on when the bird is uh, yeah. in the yard. And it's something about, well, you know, this week's, it was like something really mundane, nothing to do with a bird or, you know, and that yeah. was almost now completely to do with uh, 
you know, all of, we're doing all of this in the world and there's broadcast going on and Trump and COVID-19, but this bird is just out. Doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. Doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. You know? And neither does this dog or this feather being caught or this piece of garbage or, you know, like that's so beautiful. I just find that so, you know. Well, what about the play you sent me? Sorry, because I tried to do something then when I saw that play, man. Oh, uh, I mean. Counter fuck. Yeah. So I tried to do a little video with the sounds coming in the left and right ear. I am going to break the seal and then I want to tell you, talk to you about Encounter. Go, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right for back. it. <laughs> So beggars can't be choosers, but that's that's my. It's a little bit better, yeah. That's a little, little, little bit, bit yeah. of a happy, yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, I didn't love, I didn't love that guy. Yeah, no. You get to, you're better off getting um. Get into the Guinness, maybe. No, no, get some local um, Canadian craft beers in your yeah. specialist off license. Yeah. Well, I, I, I drink in here. Uh, I'm trying to do the Irish thing. I'm trying to like you know. Well, unless pay, pay got, homage. I know, but. <laughs> I was at the LCBO going, I want some good Irish beer. None of your crap, uh, you know. Yeah, well, you, you can tell him that I'm not impressed by what he gave you. If you're, if you're in there the next <laughs> you really give a shit. So make sure you tell him. Frank's not impressed. Like, you just, Frank's not impressed, man. <laughs> he's not impressed with that. Like, if you want some tips, <laughs> I, I'll tell him what to guess. Fuck's sake. Where, where is this from? Okay, this is an Irish craft beer. But, but I would normally drink... Um, now, what's that one called? I just want to see the can it, it's, it's called Shut Up Juice. <laughs> it's, a great, <laughs> it's a great name, actually. I anything, won't take that personally. No, anything with a beer with juice in it, you gotta, you <laughs> yeah. know, you gotta go. It must yeah. be lovely. It's just a great use of a, a word. <laughs> shut up, juice. Just shut up, juice. Yeah, there you it's go. Like the, uh, it's like in vino veritas. What are you drinking? Shut up, juice. Shut up, yeah. That's great. Mm. Encounter. I mean, when I first saw that freaking thing, and uh, and then when it came around again, and I saw it again, and then I went, oh. Frank's got to see this. So I, it blew my head off the first time I saw it. Cause I, so many things about it, you know, where I was in my own kind of journey because it just represented so clearly the experience of the first person subject, you know, oh. like it's, it's so. Actually, for, yeah, just, it was, it's, it's unpleasant. There's it's time, unpleasant. Yeah. You're, you're just going, this is actually. Yeah. Finally, can, can I get a, Can I can I get off this ride? Yeah, and you, and you can't. Yeah, I mean yeah. you can. Yeah, you can, but somehow you stay. You and I love it. watching like an audience full of people with earphones on. Please check out your earphones. Are you hearing me in your left ear now? You're like yeah. I, uh, to to see a group of, especially in COVID nineteen, seeing it the second time, seeing a theater anyway was like surreal. But then to see people in a theater with earphones on about to take this journey. And he starts it, he turns around and goes, okay, so I'm about to get on stage I mean, here it, and all it, caught, it caught me immediately. Just I knew it would, just the I sense, knew it. The sense of the start and yeah. when, it, when he goes, so <laughs> direct a camera and you're just going, fucking hell. Like yeah. he, he's caught, for a YouTube video, for a, a piece of theater, to grab yeah. you like that, it's yeah. just, it's almost an energetic view. Oh, the absolutely. Origin, the originality of it. I was just going, oh, fuck. I know. Oh, wow. I mean, it's the kind of thing you want to get your crayons out and just make something, even if it's... You know, I know, it's I know. To I something. totally... <laughs> that guy on stage doing that, like a one-man show, you know, all of that, like there was just so many things on so many levels that blew me away. Would have blown me away even as an actor, just the sheer theatre technology of that. But then there was something, this other deeper level of like consciousness, the subjective feeling of that, you know. And, and I also, I also thought of you with uh, when he would uh, be in the midst of his thing, and then you know, daddy, and then he would have these scenes with this with his daughter who would come in. That always oh, they were gorgeous. Too. Gorgeous, because yeah. you could just see her there on stage. You, you could just see her, and then in the version that you saw, because I never got to see. But in that, in his version, at the end, she she's there. They show her now older, you know, uh, because she was a little girl when when yes, she was yeah, 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 in okay. the show. But now she's, you know, because he does the double whammy on how many times can I remove from the story? Oh, and that blew my brains as well. But she, but she was a welcome. Yeah, her interruption was a you welcome needed, relief. You needed, you needed her. her. You needed her just. Yeah. Oh, she gets a yeah. break from. 
Yeah, Come yeah. All this. What are you doing, Dad? I'm really trying to just get this thing done. You, yeah. have, to, you have to go, honey. Yeah, you yeah. know. And, and it's so nice. To, it's so yeah, lovely. So nice. It's lovely because you know your brain is just going, oh, I'm starting. Yeah. To and he's just, oh, it's okay. I'm and then when she, she the, when she would leave the when she would leave the room and she never even entered the room, yeah. he would get right back into the jungle and you'd be like like a dream. You just pick up where you leave off and. And it would just, it was so captivating. So when I saw your thing, I, well, the first thing I thought is like, like, I just, I just, lo I loved, I, I thought I want to see like eight hours of this. Like I could have watched like Frank gets up in the morning. You'd have to do like, he wakes up in the morning on the edge of the bed. Like this is an impossible project, but say no, that he on, did like. Offers, Cause yeah. I'd love to take, I wanted to take it on. I wanted to say, well, what could I do? Well, like, like a real day in the life. Like, you know, like, when you when you describe like I you know I I sit I sit on the edge of the bed and you've just had this crazy dream and your thoughts are going through your head went, that's not right okay, okay so anyway and then and then and then it begins you know breakfast whatever then it begins and it's also like what I loved about it I mean your kids are so beautiful but she is so. Uh, <laughs> Like when you when you were talking about when you were going well what is it you know and, and you were trying to explain to her well you know like uh, <laughs> and all of the inner thoughts like she's never she's never gonna get this but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try to say that <laughs> and then well it's a time you know you put things on a timeline and then she just goes off to it oh, she's never gonna get this. yeah and then you try to do it again and all of that like to yeah, me I she's just gonna, like, but she's gonna love this you know I'm gonna <laughs> really gonna go for this I'm really gonna explain it to her she yeah. really really get this yeah. and then. It's, Oh, that's, that's, yeah, and then you try again, and, and, the, the, and the monologue would be like, "I can't believe I'm even trying again." <laughs> well, because you know, like, so then it's just like, well, then that's now ninety thousand thoughts a day, and uh, from you know, it's an impossible project. But the the real, the lived feeling of that is, we wake up in the morning, and we open our eyes from a world that was completely real to us a few seconds before and now we dissolve into this world with remnants of the previous and this yeah. one's just as kind of unreal but now the day starts the coffee all that first person point of view the thoughts in the head you know the you know it, it just becomes like instantly captivating because we all know we all sense memory, feel in real time that experience because that's how it falls off the truck for every character. We have this, this unreliable narrator in our, in our heads. It's talking shit at us all day long, going down all the fucking things. And meanwhile, we're being met with the, the, the tasks of the day and the, the mountains and the rivers and the dog shit and the daughters and the, you know, it's just so like, compelling and captivating and uh, I love Oh yeah, we see if you can, you see it's um, it can be the thought to go for it again anyway. You know this, uh, because you say at the end of the encounter when it really, 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 really builds yeah. to the point of it being I, I remember just going this is too much now. I, I actually, yeah. it's too much. It's too much. And, then, and then somehow there's a bit of silence. I know what yeah. the silence comes in, or you just yeah. stops, or it's maybe it's the end, and in in that like almost the kind of the expansiveness yeah. of all the anchors that have you've been basically squashed. Right. For well, doesn't act. that feel, Frank, a little bit like the the story of unfolding? Oh, it does. Just totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't that? That's exactly. I mean, you'd have to do the seeker's version of how do you describe? How would you encounter wise? describe that moment uh which you can describe to me or not of when you went oh, like what was the final kind of penny dropping this is all a story this is all being done anyway we can get to that in the pub but never mind the encounter version of that which has to do a little bit with a crescendo of it can't get more, can't get more can't get. and there is a silence that is a requisite silence after any big buildup. Mm -hmm. The big buildup of seeking has a, a requisite silence. And in that silence, there are more words and Zen spoken in that gap now. In the vast expanse there almost. In the vast the, uh, expanse, yeah. exactly. And it, mm -hmm. when, that, when that expanse hits us, it's like that's, you know, silence sings, you know, like that's, 
it's that's where you, it all swims in the nothing in the totally. nothing silence. Yeah. everything swims in that nothing silence and whether it's uh, in uh music you know it's like you know it's the pause in the music it's the space between the notes i mean you could mm -hmm. take that that's true for everything when the husband and wife in the scene are yelling at each other well they're like, ah! and now the kitchen's silent for like that in that silence in a scene it's like that would be the silence that you don't like in theater school we'd call it a post you know like you you well you know i'll top you i don't tell you like, oh, that. well what about that and then we would, he would call it a post. So now at the post, and the and that, that silence after the post can 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 uh, can echo and reverberate for a long time because it's speaking way more than any playwright or screenwriter could. The words are all right there in mm. that silence now, and I think that's true for you know the parts in the canvas that you don't put paint on the the space after the note that Mozart went Gah! and then picked up like it's right there that. Uh, it's always there, you know. The nothing is always woven into the everything, no matter whether it's an art form or life mm. or this or whatever. Like it's that, that's just a, so part and parcel. You can't have one without the other. Blah blah blah. But, but we're it so can reach like, crescendo, though. It can reach that crescendo where yeah. it just it actually chokes everything in the room so tight. Yeah. And then when the scene, there's nothing to let go, or nothing can be let go. Yeah. Whatever the fuck you want to describe that. Uh, Woo. So, you know, so like a, a, a deathbed, every, every meat sack's deathbed is going to be a crescendo where we are going to go 10, 9, 8, oh, I love you, I love you too. And we go, well, this is it then. So what was all that? Like, you know, like uh, I watched my father pass and uh, all of that, like the whole... Eight, Every everyone's seven, gonna get to have six, that exactly. Five, yeah. Four. Yeah. Three. Two. And then the rest is silence, as Hamlet says. And then, and that's it. There. And so the whole. You can't live your life. You know, it'd be great to live your life. You only understand your life backward. I don't know who said that, but you have to live it forward. And that becomes the, what the character does. We have to live our life from the once upon a time, I'm a Frank, I'm moving in the world. And then you'll only understand it at the end. And most stories will only end on the deathbed like my dad's did, but the grace, the true grace that the story can end, well, Christ die before you die and all that business. That is the, I, the crescendo can happen before the, body crescendo yeah the zero is always present really yeah that's, yeah that's the the zero line is and that's the end of the story like the end of the story and really now the the real story can begin when that story ends or however you whatever poetry would that nancy would capture way better than i can mm -hmm. but you know like when that when that when that crescendo uh crescendos <laughs> all of that energy, it needed to do all of that just to stop. It seemingly needed to do whatever, like if we're gonna say seeking, like seeking need, needs to get, seems to need to get fervent before it can become like, wow, what, what, what the hell? Seeking for what? What, what, what? what was it seeking for again? It certainly wasn't seeking for what this silence is saying. This silence is doesn't even, acknowledge the seeker and never did it was present by the ocean when he went to the water cellars the whole time so what's that about you see it's, it's too gigantic for um <laughs> it's too you see this absolutely nothing is too gigantic you know it's absolutely nothing though it, but yeah. it's absolutely nothing nothing yeah right but it's too gigantic sometimes for a, an apparent person yeah. So there's times. no you, yeah. you can't accept there's no way you can accept. Ha, ha, but but it makes sense almost like mathematically like or just like there's a part of my brain that goes how could a little bit a tiny finite bit of something stand against the tsunami of nothing it wouldn't have had a chance anyway like mm -hmm. i used to think that in the beginning like like when i was a kid even i'd go like okay so hang on a minute like 
because you know I knew my sister was going to pass before I did because she was sick when we were young and all of that kind of stuff. And I just it got my it got this brain starting at like you know five and six and seven years old going like well what does that mean like it just got me thinking about okay so hang on a minute and i wasn't able to phrase it this way until much later of course but what was being laid down for me to accept or not accept was that okay so here's the deal you're going to be not here for forever okay so for th at least for 13.7 billion years and whatever happened before that, you weren't there either. So you're going to be, you were not here for, let's just say forever. And then in 1962, whoop, you popped into existence and now you're going to be here for a little bit, for a little bit. And then at some unannounced time could be right now could be a week from now could be 30 years from now i'm not going to be here again and then i'm not going to be here again for forever again so i wasn't here for forever i'm here for a pick and then i'm not going to be here for forever again so that's what we're talking about is that is that is that what this whole mm -hmm. that's what this is all about right like so shakespeare wrote his stuff in there and and you know lives will be lived and kids will be reared and and the whole rivers and rivers and mountains are all going to happen in that little blink and and how am i to make how am i to make sense of that became like the first overarching kind of like well i think i chased that those that ripples you know right up until there wasn't anyone chasing them anymore because here this here this is yeah. which can't go anywhere never went anywhere how could, you know, we can only mourn the loss of something that started, but if something actually didn't start, well, how can you mourn the death of that, really? <laughs> yeah, and that's the stunningly, wonderfully, and thankfully impossible. You're like, I mean, you see, see, that's the thing as well, that what's not ever, ever seen as a secret that um, really, if this could be known, or had, or, you know, really, truly had, this, there was a thing here that could have something, which is the predominant movement of the person. If that yeah. could actually be had or be known or seen, and there was a way, brother, yeah, I fucking guarantee it. You, you have you you will have hell for yeah. eternity. Then you yeah. you might have a couple of weeks of this is great, and maybe you know thirty years. But really, really, if if it's really what you've got now. That thing that you've always wanted, yeah. You fucking man, I tell you, you are. I, I'll hug you when it comes to it because you're going to need some love. This yeah. is it's going to. You're going to. You know what I mean, that because it yeah. is. That it's is impossible. Absolutely, just it's horrendous. Though the idea that this could be known is absolutely horrendous. Yeah. That yeah. Is, so what the fuck then? Oh, it can be hard. Eternity can be hard. Eternity yeah. is actually a thing. Nothing is a thing that I can have. You're and that, and, and that more, more than that, eternity was never even lost in the first place. All the words of eternity and non-eternity and infinity and non-infinity, those came late to the party. The party mm -hmm. started with eternality and, and atemporal. Like the party was, the party didn't even enter time. Mm -hmm. The party never, that's why we could the Frank and the Michael were never going to be invited there because they're not the host, which is th that timeless eternal thing can host the, uh, the dream ideas of the Frank and the Michael, but it can't actually sooner or later, the dream, the character either on the deathbed or, or before goes lucid to the fact that, well, like if the whole thing is being done, including all of that too, then, well, then what the hell? Like, see, that's for me where the the whole left hand, right hand. To get back to that for a second, like, you know, someone enters spirituality and they might they don't even hear those terms, but most of the spirituality off the shelf that you'd, you know, do you have a non duality section? You know, you're gonna get <laughs> into a you're gonna get to a right hand section. You're gonna get to a Nisargadatta, you know, whatever. You're gonna get you're gonna get to uh find out what you're not. Neti neti, this whole freaking thing. 
Just keep netting, netting. No, you're not your mind. No, you're not your body. No, you're not your thoughts. No, you're just keep negating, 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 negating. And at the end of all of that negation, when you're left, what you're left with, when everything is taken away, then that's what you are. So that's the right hand path. Now, of course, the, the one going into that path, even though, yes, I'm prepared to let go of everything, you know, of course they don't, <laughs> because that's them too, you know. Apart from letting go. Let go of everything apart from letting go. Apart from letting that, go. That, that thing I can't really. Yeah. Uh, well, it's yeah. like you used to say, you know, it's like when people would go into a Tony, Tony thing and they would, it's like uh, they would miss the first sentence. He stands up and in the first 12 seconds, he, he states his manifesto. Nothing here. Nothing. Like he just says it. There's nobody in this room. There's nothing here for you. That's it. Like that's it. Right? Yeah. He just says it right away. And it's almost like, as, and you, I got this from you. It's like he just, then, <laughs> then the mind just goes, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. So about this next part, this next part <laughs> that you're saying, you know, Give like me that. that liberation. Because that's it. Give me that juice. <laughs> Give me that juice. That's the, and the right hand experience is that. No matter which way you slice it. So, so the right hand is take away everything you know, find out what I'm not mm -hmm. and I'll be left with what I am. And that's most, most netty, netty spirituality, self-inquiry. Most of it is that find out what I'm not, which is, ends up being everything. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then I'll be left with what I am. But the left hand, meanwhile, is going, or you could start at the left hand. The left hand is go directly to this. Go directly to find out what you are. Find out what this is. Find out what jazz hands even points to. Find out what the whole, just go directly. And the mind can't, of course, but it's just as hard. See, in a way, that's why they call the left hand the direct path, you know. It's the direct path because it's going, just go right to the Megillah. Find out, go directly to this, and you'll equally quickly realize that <laughs> what you're not, what you're not will be very apparent when you go directly. Like the left hand is more like the, 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 the um, heroic dose in darkness. The left hand is more like that. And the right hand is, we're going to go slow. We're going to go, mm. are you your left arm? If it was cut off, would you still be you? And let's just take it all down to two eyeballs on a pillow. If I took away your right eye, but I'm still me. I'm looking at like, like, would you, like, you know, there's a, and, and that's a perfectly logical, systematic way for a mind to take apart, to deconstruct its own Frankenstein that it built. Yeah. Perfect. But it's, it's going to get down to that final thing and, and, and put the brakes on, as you said, it's going to go, whoa, 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 uh, I didn't, well, hang on a minute. Like, you know, well, too late. No, sorry. Red pill, red pill. Never mind. Ignore the man behind the curtain. Keep going. And then that. And then that's 360 that way. It's just like, okay, I'll find everything I'm not. Negate, 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 negate. Back at 12. There you are having never left. Or start at noon and go, well, what is, what, just what is this all at once, which is impossible for a mind anyway, and then how you, how you fit into that all at once approach is going to be equally like, well, how can I, uh, you know, I am, the, the I, <laughs> Michael's little autobiography is a, a small little piece of real estate clearly taking place in a vast, holy fuck, changing every second. There's no way I can hang on to it. It's all unpin downable. So, oh, well, then I guess then there's that. But the left hand and the right, both paths, you know, it's a truth is a pathless land or whatever, but they both lead to Rome. Or, or home or non home or you whatever. See, the you, fuck. you know what the fucking th thing is? Yeah, it's not, I, somehow I get this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, when you're talking there, whoa, fuck. Like, it's kind of like, how can seeking ever see that that's all of everything? Seeking can't see that it's all no. of everything. But see, seeking is never looking. Seeking, seeking is the seeker. So, but, so. but, 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 but let's say, uh, uh, how can a thought see that it's all of everything? No. But you know, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. That's a, thought, a, thought, a thought by its own very existence is never going to see uh, that. Uh, I mean, it's, yeah. it's just like, what do you, yeah. I mean, I'm already even feeling it like there in yeah. my, my body. But, yeah. Don't, don't. Yeah. Or like, or what's, you know, this, this, uh, this, when you take away the eyeball and 
Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 uh, this well, kind of feeling, wasn't, you know, well, this well, holding on for dear life. Your, exactly. Well, when and you described your experience in our first pub of what you had just come through five days previous, you basically described the exact rubbing out. You described that in, in like an encounter in spades. It was it like... It's kind of like, you see like this here? It's kind yeah. of like, and then one hand out to the cross. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And then, and then there's a party that wants to go, uh, is a part, yeah. somehow there's a part yeah. that's go, wants to what, go. What is that part? Don't, don't ask me about that. I have, but there is a part that wants to go, uh, and then, oh God, oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And then, you know, that's the tragedy that guy is right there. There's a bit of a tragedy. Totally. Because nobody totally. is. That is them. the deathbed. That is the six, five, four, three. That is the, every meat sack will get to uh, experience that. But that is also all. But it's, there's, a, there's, all an, the there's an awful, um, but now I'm getting a flashback because there's an mm. other, that there is a moment also of the, uh, when there's a thing left, just at the mm. last second is yeah. where you, the, not, not letting go is possible. You, you know, the human, the person can't, yes, let, yes. can't let go. No. Yeah, you can't let go, like. Yeah. Yeah. That, and then maybe he's, hopefully death is the <laughs> yeah is the is the relief oh. from the idea of letting go. Yeah, exactly. And and the letting goer, the one who could let go or not let go, is let go now. Yeah. All there is is that, and I, feel, I somehow seem to be feeling it now, full on. You know that oh, sense. Yeah, you, you know. You know that. That that is that final. All there is is that not letting go. Yes. That's all of everything. That's until, all of everything. Until right. That, and, and actually, until and, there's the unimaginable. Then that's right. The, then it's for me. Then but see, but I, but I think and I don't even go there anymore. <laughs> but my my contention is my contention is uh, uh, putting forward in this pub that we're all all we have is the unimaginable. And all that's that's all that this has ever been, and it 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 is incontendable with by definition, and any uh, willing contendor is going to die uh, in the approach to it, but but that's the only approach in town. Like it's like that because it's the because the very idea of the contender who can't contend with this was is the dream it's is the dream you know like well can, can i um hit you yeah. with something now just please hit me you see, see, you see, see, you see, you see that moment that we're talking about that kind of uh, 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 mm. and then realizing there's your, your own show somehow yeah. there's a realization in that yeah. now there is also another for me in that uh, because of th those mind experiences yes. that's slightly distorted because in that it's an avalanche of oh I'm alone forever right. I'm utterly alone forever right. uh, they, they, uh, uh, and in that it's kind of got the because of that experience would say. There's a distortion in my mind. I think there's a bit of a distortion in in how I seem to be even just at that moment because I have a real feeling of the bow out. You know, the, the mm. actor finally bows out on the yes. stage. I concede. I, 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 and he 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 thinks that he he was doing the acting, or he, he yeah. thinks that he was the actor. Yeah, there, and then he doesn't know what to do. Then he's right on. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying to there? I, I'm a kind of yeah. I, I do. No, no, I do. And that and that is that gone, that gone baby gone <laughs> moment of the, the final curtain call, which is you know you might as well call that death, and as to put a hieroglyph noun to it, and you might as well uh, make it a deathbed death, like all of the the meat suits are going to have to endure, or make that a, a spiritual death and i think they're the same and i think that any good profound resonating 
clearly seen spiritual death points to exactly that same thing that even when the final bower bows there's going to be and and leaves the stage uncerem unceremoniously it's it, it, it's extinct you know like in that next moment that he or she will is not scripted into will not get to be there for will not get to take that next bow there'll be no show tuesday at eight o'clock because this was monday this is the final final show now <laughs> like it's just it gets right to that um like well you, you know you you know as, <laughs> as the way the way that you just scared <laughs> Well, I mean, you, you, you've been, you, you've, uh, you've done both versions. You, you've, you know, uh, you've done both versions. You've done the heroic dose version where it's like weeds and over and over again. Is, is, is this still me? Is this still me? It's like you've, you've, you've had that experience and then you've, and, and recently even then with the whole, you know, the whole body bag thing. And it's the same, it's just, it's the same, um, archetypal it's just that same extinguishing i don't know how to say that it, it you know like so my this is where my synaptic brain this is where i jump to they say that when you watch some of those videos about the god molecule or you lick the toad and blah 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 then some of them this one so one scientist will inevitably say well you know there is a theory that uh, 5-meo is in the pituitary gland uh, locked in there somewhere so at death you know, when I watched my father pass, you know, there is a, a moment where when the body is completely shutting down and the whole story of, 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 of Ross is going to be finally over, his very brain is going to release the chemical that you guys all truck down to the, to the place to find. Like, it's like, it's something that's made in house because now is that a something that's just going to be like, this is going to be pretty for him. So we're just going to release this chemical just as a salve to just help him get through the end of his story. Or is it pointing to something even larger that is like uh, die schmai like like how can you we're talking about i mean for me <laughs> we see you go on your, what i was going to say there you see that, that's the just it's like me. You, they, the, me frank the, the brain the mind can go to this absolute fear here right for me yeah. even just just trying to imagine then that that letting go again that death yeah. again and right. the, and death see, again <laughs> you, you, but that's but you see that then you see that's the thing though that uh, yeah. how th this this alive sense yeah of nothing right which is the, which is is not horrific like somebody has to let go of death like somebody's right grasping on like you know yeah yeah was, when my father was hitting the road he yeah. fucking tried to run. Uh, I'm sure you've heard me saying this, but he literally jumped up out of the bed in the, before he went trying to run. Yeah. Like he got up and run and then we had to kind of help him back down to the bed and then yeah. he went. I didn't hear ah. I didn't hear that, but my but my dad did a similar thing, only he couldn't jump out of the bed. Okay. But he wanted to know where the exit was. Yeah. And that was the whole thing, you know, like uh but but then, anyway, I don't want to interrupt your flow. No, no, but then but he basically he got back in the bed and we helped him down and then exhalation and smile. Yeah. There wasn't a struggle. There wasn't a, smile, you know, the, the, in the end, um, there wasn't yeah. a struggle. Whereas the meal was, experience was holistically fucking unpleasant because it felt yeah. like, you know, just I'm going to diverge for a second, but this Please. is it again, right? Yeah, I got. Uh, if you want to blow your brains for an afternoon, buy an Oculus Rift. Okay. It's virtual reality goggles. Man. Okay. Okay, so the five hundred dollars, right. right? And if you want to, there, um, blow your brains. Put them on, and you have to walk um, on, over a plank, right, uh, at the top of the building, and you're at the top of the building, and you have to uh, walk off the plank. Right. Now, you know it's virtual reality. Right. Right. You fucking know clearly that there's the yes. floor underneath your feet. Right. But the movement of lifting your leg. Now, my yeah. kids were able to do it, 
But my wife, you should have seen her reaction and my reaction. I started saying, shut up to my kids. Because they yeah, were saying, yeah. just jump. I said, shut the fuck up, shut up. And I'm here going, I mean, I know it's not real. Now, why do you think, here's a sidebar thing. Why do you think the kids had an easier time than you and, and your wife? What's your wife's name again? Uh, Nula. Nula. What, why, why do you think the, the adults had a harder, why, why were the kids just allowed to go, oh, yeah. But well, you, now, all of you knew that it was just a virtual reality goggle. Well, now, Faye, who's nine. Right. Um, she goes, no, no, I'm not doing that. And I said, I'll hold you. I actually held her in right. my wow. I said, I'll hold you. Stop and, she, and she goes, oh man, you, you need to see, like, wow. I, I'm going, I'll hold you. Yeah, so step like, off this imaginary and plank. And I'll walk, you don't even have to do it for, I, oh, no, 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 And I said, well, I can't do it, like, so we're yeah. there, and there's nothing happening. Yeah, what yeah. What the fuck? There's actually nothing happening here. Yeah. We're on the carpet. You've got that goggles on. And she's going, no, no, no. And, you know, just to be held yes. in that moment in time where now, you don't, where you don't that, have to do it. Now, that's not, tell me that is not just, that, that just resounds, that, that just strikes the deepest of deepest of chords across the board. Like, we just want to be held at the end of our plank by our father, by our mother, by someone who yeah. unconditionally supports us. Even when we were just in our oh, living room no knowing that it's all a no dream, you know? Like, it's like going lucid in a dream when you don't go lucid in a dream and it's body bags and whatever the, you know, it's like, it's just, it's when it's, when it's real, it's real. Mm. And uh, no questions asked. Like, and even when it's like, okay, well, it's not, it's not real. Total safety net, yeah. virtual reality. The brain is so hard, which has created the character, is so hardwired to, avoid i don't st i've been trained every cell in here doesn't want to step off into the void yeah. what, what do you how, how can you do it how can you stop how and you don't and, and you then can't. and then yeah, i fell off so you go right. up to this other thing and mm. i fell off and went, okay and now at the time i was kind of still this infinity thing was playing out in my mind yeah, right and the so just and that that was kind of even mm. just infinity as a concept. yeah right right it's, it's, it's not pleasant you know yeah. if you really 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 sure so um uh and anyway but like for five hours we were maybe it was three hours we all had different goals i'm going to send you i, I don't have your um, yeah. i'm going to show it to you here actually let me see can i show it to you yeah <laughs> absolutely let absolutely. me show you this now you uh, it makes my mind riff on so many things man that's so cool let me just show you this. This is my wife's reaction to <laughs> when you go to. Um, can I fucking show you this here? It must be. I know. Then send me the website or whatever the thing is. Uh, what was it called? A knock. Uh, what was Ocul the actual? It's it's Oculus Prime is the uh, name uh, of. Uh, why do I know that name? It's from a movie. Right? That's that's um, your man, which is with that uh, nice yeah. that actress. Whatever. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Trans Transformers. Oh, Transformers. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oculus Prime. That's right. Okay. So, oh yeah, okay, now I'm gonna email this, I'll be able to show it to you okay. here. All right. One second now. So cool, man. So, but yeah, this idea then, you're just, you're hitting on something there of, um, I kind of feel, I remember years and years ago, I thought um, about this idea of, uh, you know, I'm being, holding her, right? This yeah. Kind of holding your daughter. Um, I kind of thought, well, Remember, I just, I like, there's something um, just, that's, that it is all we want, you know, yeah, for sure. to go. That unconditional heldness. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. want to go there. I feel nervous about going there or yeah, yeah. whatever. Can you just, can you just fucking, but you yeah. don't know you want to be held. And to like my daughter is 24 now and she's going to be 25 this year. And she's a neonatal nurse who takes care of tiny little babies, oh, which wow. was her dream in grade 10. And she was over for Father's Day and we went for a little bike ride and stuff. And, you know, and her card to me was all about that, you know, like someone who, you know, just you were always the person who or whatever. Like it's such a Valentine to the parent, you know, but mm -hmm. because it just resonates with that's all we've ever always wanted, you know, just yeah. to be no matter what you do, it's going to be OK. If you're mm -hmm. too scared to walk the plank, that's OK, too. There's going to be no shame. There's going to be no nothing. Yeah. Like you're just going to be held and going to be held and going to be held. Like the fact that that's our wished for totality 
is a lot to do with what seeking is, you know, like I just want to get to a place where uh, I want, so their language, because I want to get to a place where I'm going to be held forever unconditionally. Well, I is never going to get to that place, but there is a place uh, that, that does hold unconditionally everything that happens, uh, whether planks are fallen off of or not taken or like there, there is that, that, and what is that? Well, I don't know. It's jazz hands. It's this, it's like mm -hmm. there, it's that idea of, you know, we invented the idea. It's the human animal that invented the idea of on and off. So if off, off is death, if off, if absolute off is off now, just is nothing, an absolute on is everything, then we're just back to one and zero again. All absolute on and absolute off. We're very scared of absolute off, but you can't have absolute on without absolute off, apparently. But I feel like back to the whole, this whole thing is that there is no ultimate differentiation. Like you can't have a, uh, Absolute on, whether you call it absolute off or absolute on, whatever it is, even absolute off, if, even if that's why that nothing thing, even if there was just nothing, well, the nothing is sure showing up as something. So, so if even absolute, uh, absolute on can only pretend at off, absolute on can hold the idea and host the idea of a potential off, but even when it's six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, the onness, whatever that onness that's hosting the potential offness, the feared for or longed for, whatever, uh, it's it's still just the onness now. And and whether that onness is actually off or on is is immaterial. But something something on something is clearly on here that off would have to be the imagination of that on this. Yeah. You know? Uh, you know, no, I told you, see, that's the thing. It's the dream. It's, it's the dream. The dream um, of, of the possibility of an off, of an end. Of, yeah. Of really limited, like that's yeah. just like, a, of any concept or thing. And it, it's the, it's the end. I mean, that's yeah. the only way I can s say it. And I, I, yeah, I, yeah I, as well that, it's just all those things seem to die in this. In the end, yeah, like you know, Alice in Wonderland, and you go down a gazillion rabbit holes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The mind is the rabbit hole. Everywhere you go, everywhere yeah. you look, and there's yeah. a rabbit hole every everywhere. That's like constantly it. fishes and the hooks. It's just rabbit holes, yeah, all the way some down. Them, and the scare. Some of them scare the living oh, fucking fuck, Jesus yeah. out of you. And, and, and then not, a, I don't want to say intended to, but, or designed for, but that's their, you know, the, the cool dreamlike feature of why we seek out to go to the roller coaster park or do the Oculus Prime thing. Uh, we we want to have that little, we'd like to walk the gangplank, you know. Meanwhile, as we, you know, yeah. If there was a controller, say there was a if boss. There was a, if, if there was, was a player a boss, one. If, if, yeah. there was, if there was a boss. But mm -hmm. he's not. He's going to totally see through the Oculus Rift. He's definitely not going to get, feel scared. He's going right. to stand back from that. Stand back from standing back from standing back to yeah. where right and, and go. Yeah, this is not real. But you're like yeah. fully. You should have seen it, man. And I'm taking off oh. the Oculus Rift, going. This is the biggest <laughs> thing, waste of money, <laughs> and, and we can't even. We can't even. That's fine. Seven, seven can't do it. We did this other thing last night, and I took it off. And I feel sick. I feel like <laughs> and she's taken off as well. And, you know, it's just ridiculous. That's so great, man. I mean, oh, I'm dying so cool. for you to see this here. Now. I, I, I want to see it. Okay, so you know what? I think I might have it here, actually. So give me two seconds. Yeah, man. Share a screen. <laughs> oh, man. It's just... Uh, <laughs> it is. Where, is. where is this? Oh, my um, Lord. I think with the Bukahis. Is it here? Okay. Uh, your kids are so beautiful too man like i just i think i've maybe seen your wife in like uh i don't know if she's in in the in the opening credits to your thing when you're at the music uh festival i don't know if she's the one in the front or like uh 
Oh, I don't know if so I've ever actually. I, I, I know. I keep. I keep. I try. I, um, yeah. I don't, which I totally understand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's just. Yeah. I, I don't she even, probably is like, keep me out of them, Frank. You know. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's not even. Yeah. You know, you do your thing and I do mine. And really yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> okay. So have a look at this. Let me see. Right. Touch, yeah, computer how do you? Uh, you'll have to do. You'll have to do all the time. Oh, I'm going to do everything here. Okay. okay good. You should have sound. I'm open. Okay, there's mm -hmm. my wife with the okay. Wait one second, I know what you're going to say. Um, you see, if you fall off the... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that is awesome. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you still wear the goggles too. Oh yeah. I said to my I said to my son, did you get that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was that the play? I'm sorry. I'm not gonna tell you because you're okay. uh, um, I'll I'll do the rest of it for you. There's a thing wow. you do if you if you Holy kind of crap. if you avoid the plank and you think and you think, okay, I'm gonna go down to the Hero Academy and then you wow. basically get these gloves on. Okay. Is, you're kind of now, what are those things on the ground that uh, are those uh, the the two things that look like she goes in her hands, maybe, or you what are those? See, all you see is virtual hands, then. So right. you don't see the, their controllers, yeah. but you don't right. see, you see your hands. Now, come on! It doesn't that like so? Okay, when you stack up that and Mio, oh, I'll and, stop. come on, you know, like like that, that, like like what, like how do all those resolve together into? What is the poetry of all of that wrapped up in? Uh, I don't know. I just I have a, have a cup of tea. Yeah, Because there, actually, there's one. There's a game within it where you go into the game, right, and you take off or you put on other goggles. Oh wow! Virtual goggles inside virtual goggles. And you can put on other ones. So then what they do is, Holy oh shit. yeah. Come on, do, that's poetic. That's no, it's, yeah, yeah. Well, we see how you get on then. Goggles within <laughs> goggles. Yeah, yeah, see, and then you're in a room and then it says, oh, admin, only admin, and you, they won't let you out of a room. Now, oh, wow. you know you can take off yeah. the goggles. Right. But you kind of go, okay, no, 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 I just, I just, but you're in a room yeah. and you can't get out of the fucking room now. You can't get out. And then, so then you come out back into yeah. this one. Right. This, the real one. <laughs> yeah, the real one. The, exactly. the real one, and you're kind of going, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just can I just, just have a cup of tea? Can I just? <laughs> that is just so, that, and that is so, oh, fuck, man. That, 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 that's the rub, man, right there. And then you see the brain, like, it's, yeah. it, because it's so good now, and you, you're, yeah. your mind goes, right? This is the way my mind operates. Yeah. Okay, so this is version one. And it's pretty believable. Right. That's, what's version 20? And then Yeah, the, right. And then my brain goes, yeah, you're, you're already in version 20 now. And, uh, yeah, exactly. And you're too You're free. being run by a future race who's, like, already running virtual Frank things and you're just living one you're, of them. You're too afraid to wake up. You, that's yeah, yeah. You're too afraid to wake up to this. And I go right down that rabbit hole. Oh, for sure. Read it and well, and, 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 you know, we have our real life, uh, our own, we, we, we have our own heads up display of our own goggles every day, right in this second, right in every second. Like, it's just, that's what, you know, the dream feels as real as it real as it real as it does. And even when you go lucid in the dream and, and, I, and you look around in a lucid dream and you go, oh my God, I, kn I know I have the goggles on, but this is the detail the immaculate detail present here in this that I'm obviously production designing in real time is off the charts, you know, and I know that I just have the goggles on. I'm just, I'm going to wake up. But most times when you're not lucid, you're fully involved in whatever that Baroque story is. And then when you do wake up into this, into this, into ground zero, Let's into ground zero. Guns. Yeah. But, and again, like that, and you know. Into this, yeah. Yeah, I would have to like say, you know, you know the, the ground zero is the impossible to point to thing that hosts all of it. That hosts the dreams, the, the, uh, the, the, the goggles, 
the non-dreams, the birth, the death, whatever's hosting the onness of the feeling of being conscious, the feeling of even like, what, and, and fascination with it. And fascination with it. Fucking fascination with it. And, and, a, little, and a little bit of fucking fear. Absolutely. Fucking you can't, and you can't, have, you can't have one without the other. Like, truly, maybe truly fascinating has a little bit of fear to it. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know? Well, it's, like, it's just, whoa. Yeah. It's like, how can you say, how can you, you sound, uh, to me, I, I have to kind of go. Oh, there's your ride. <laughs> well, it's a bit of, uh, uh, just uh, having a coffee. Uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. You can't suddenly go, isn't it just amazing? That's, well, that's what I mean. It, like, we're just you know, having a coffee. Isn't this amazing? You can't say that. Who's going to like when that? you when you you know woke up from your uh, experiences, you know, uh, from the film and and so on. Like, you know, I imagine there's kind of that same relief as going, you know, okay, kids, we're putting the goggles away till another time. But wow, like that's like that's exactly it. Although yeah. in this instance, I, I'd be I kind of would go no, not for. You see, years ago I went to, um, this is all, right? I went to a healer, some, not a healer, but somebody who was energetic work, right? Sure, and yeah. I, at the time I had been, um, I had been thinking about um, psychedelics, just thinking about psychedelics. Sure. And she put her hands over, and she, this is, she was rare, sort yeah, of yeah. human. She would say, well, come if you want to come, don't come if you don't want to come. And, and it wasn't, she wasn't trying to be clever in that. It was, you know, just send me a text if you want to pop on. But she put her hands over my body and went, what's this about psychedelics? Well. And I went, uh, she said, I've seen an awful lot happening there. And then she said something like, um, wouldn't be good for you. Hmm. She said, um, you know, you only have to hold it in your hand and you're going to sense this. Hmm. Just hold it in your hand and you have got the energy from this. Right, right. But Frank McKay is not going to. I mean, there's yeah, no yeah. way that that was going to ever be. <laughs> but it's just something that stayed in my mind now. Yeah, yeah. I kind of go, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> it's interesting those things, you know. If we could go down a whole pub rabbit hole about, you know, psychics and all of that uh, energy, all of that stuff was is really cool. But the one thing I want to get out of my system uh, in the pub talking is that. Uh, I kept thinking as we're talking about both the goggles and the other experiences about this, um, you know, my limited uh, uh, overview reading that I've done about the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Have you uh, come into terms with that a little bit? Or no, I've that? heard of it, but I maybe should read it, yeah. So, uh, the, you know, they talk about the bardos, and so there's a whole lot of real interesting documentaries, but they're all basically, you know, about... Uh, you know, the, the Tibetan tra training so that when you get to your six, five, four, three, two, one, there'll be someone there to help you, uh, not only up to the zero, but after the zero. And so, you know, because the body is going to be there for a while and the, uh, the energy is not knowing, knowing that it's now, and I'm not saying this correctly at all, encapsulated within the body anymore, is going to be searching for, well, then now what the fuck? And so the, the Tibetan, the, the book is about the bardos and about all the different uh, realms or different visions or different, you know, heads up goggle display, full on 5-MEO, exhale, everything. That's what they are but it's all about dealing with the, the physical moment of death and everything that happens after. And so, you know, I've, I, and I, I know very little about it. That's a very, a, a, a bad, anyone that really knew about it would go, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But the one thing I remember uh, that, that stuck with me was that the first thing you hit was they, they, this shows you the mother light and they call it the mother light. I thought, oh, what Great. And it was, I was right at a place where that, the capital M, capital L, that meant something, you know, the mother light. So right away, in other words, you're shown like the first thing, okay, before we're going to, we, we, we could do no bardos, okay? But, uh, okay, here's the month, here is, here's all of it all at once. H how do you like them apples? Here's, here's just what, whatever the life was before, whatever the dream, whatever the goggles that you were, that you just took off forever, here's the mother light now. Here's, whoo, Here's, here's the all at onceness. Yeah. It was always here hosting that whole thing. 
how, 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 how are we doing? How are we doing? Anybody? Anybody? Mm -hmm. And then the, if the first, the, the next thing that happens, if there's even an inkling of, go, oh yeah, but you know what? Something else that, okay, okay, it's cool. It's okay, it's cool, guys, it's cool. Bardo one, bring in Bardo one. And then now the, the levels begin where they're going to be whatever they are. And I, I imagine when I read it, particular to however that thing's unwinding, uh, it's going to be whoever lies down and takes the heroic dose, that's going to be that imagery there. But what I loved about it, and the only reason I mention it here, is that what stuck was that you didn't, it wasn't that it went from like five, four, three, two, one, Bardo. Okay, you're walking on a plank. Okay, and now you're running from demons or whatever. It, it, it actually went five, four, three, two, one, mother light. Mm -hmm. Anyone? Anyone? And it just like, it laid it out. And then there was this opportunity to go, oh, I can go down the tunnel and be at one. Uh, that, that, it could be over before it began, which it already was, let's say. But if I don't choose that, if I go, yeah, well, I still have a couple of, Bardo one. And then Bardo two, and then Bardo, and really what they, and another 360 degree things that, that the Bardos dump you out at the mother light again. You, you, you're you only gonna, you started with the mother light, you're gonna get back to the goddamn mother light. Like there's no escaping it, but you there's lots of imaginings that you can escape it. And that, when I heard that whole structurality and that's what, that's what the Tibetan book of the dead is about. Wow, like from the way that I, uh, you know, digested it, it was like, that was that that uh, struck me in, in the in the solar plexus of the all the stuff that we would talk about in this pub you know or with goggles or with virtual reality or artificial intelligence or la 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 you see that moment there of um ooh, and the moment of um mine or one mm -hmm. that um the it's it's impossible let's just say yeah it's impossible because all the fear and all the whatever resistance or whatever whatever yes. which is, is present as it can ever always uh, that the problem is the person can't accept into that no the person is the non-acceptance of that carte blanche. Just that, yeah. It's just, yeah. it's just that, and that will stay rock fixed for in that <gasps> until it becomes something utterly right. or something or. <laughs> It it's like, it's like I remember I said to you and it, when you were, because you, you, you gave me that analogy in the first thing mm. describing your experience about right. okay. down and then up from the weeds and the weeds that come up and then look at down and then you're up from the weeds and the weeds and, and you're even saying like how many times, how many times like you no, die, yeah. how many yeah. times you die. Yeah. And I think that's like that. It's like, uh, well, I don't know. I got, I got forever. How many times would you like to die? Like, like how, how many times is going to be required until... But, uh, you know, like, it's like saying, you know, it's like you, you can only, <laughs> it's like the mechanical feeling of only being able to do that after 75 Kalpa, the weed things might get tired and then you just like, or, may, or, or maybe, is there another power. set of goggles? Is there an <laughs> Oculus Prime? Like, uh, do, do they have another? Oh, no, I don't or, want. To, I, you you see, you're, I don't want another one. No, no. No, no but I, I think I guess my point is that is that they the, the goggles end like, like the goggles end where they began. The character is an up is a virtual reality display. That's that that we were uh, indoctrinated into this game that we weren't even told. It wasn't like who wants to play a game. Yeah, you no, know, we were game. all suddenly in the game. And some of the players in the game went, is this a game? And, and what, you know, and want to take the red pill or the blue pill or whatever and take the red pill and get to the bottom of what this game is. But the whole time it was just going to be whatever was the mother light of whatever Mil Milton Bradley is God. And it was going to be whatever's hosting this freaking any of it at all period across the board was going to be the final arbitrator and it's just not even blinking. And 
we that's, that's are the, that. Yeah, well, yeah, what's the, that, we kind of hit on that. Because somehow I'm living the fucking, <laughs> this is uh, like, that moment, I'm going to come back to it again now, that, yeah. that moment yeah. of not letting go, the final, mm-hmm. you, the final bow. Yes. Or the final resistance or whatever, the, the final, and the recognition that nobody ever somehow did the final bow. Or, right. you know, because it never, even though it felt like the, the character realizes in a moment that he's a character, but, and he's stunned by that, but then doesn't doesn't see until he sees that the stun is a part of the character. Right, right. Do you know what I'm saying? So then I do, it's I do. then it's maybe please uh, for so that there's no pain for anyone ever. Yeah. That, that, that um, just exhales. Then you know that uh, I wouldn't no. wish for that experience or whatever. That's the way I would feel. Like I, I, I yeah. like I would just told the person. I, I told my daughter on, in the plank and I just go, look, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's not happening. Yeah. And they go, yeah. Why, it must be happening though. Why are you so animated? Or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because I am animated. I'm animated by... Yeah. This, this is fucking total animation. This is, yeah, this is total animation. Exactly. This is total crazy. Yeah. You, oh yeah. man, I'm fucking... I'm on the edge of my seat here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and, th- and that oh. that edge of the seatness is like you know sick. that's the, it's almost you. like uh you know <laughs> why you know that's all those conundrums of like you know the amazement isn't that we're on the edge of our seats or that that's possible the amazement is that we can s- this miracle can seemingly dull itself down and going yeah I'm in the backyard cleaning up more dog shit. Like, and not be, and have that not be the edge of the seat. Like, yeah. that's the miracle to me. The miracle is not that, you know, the blasphemy isn't someone saying, I am the absolute God. I am all of creation. I am this all at onceness, all at once. How dare you? Like, that is the ultimate sacrilege to say that uh, from, from that set of ears. But the truth is, it's the opposite. That's the, that's the blasphemy. The blasphemy is that the, the I'm sorry, that, so you, uh, cordon, you took all of this infinity and somehow cordoned yourself off into one little separate corner. Uh, you, you, took a, you took infinity and made a little bit of finiteness, finiteness out of it and are now wearing your goggles. And like that, that's, that's the blasphemy. The miracle isn't saying you're everything. The blasphemy isn't saying you're everything. The blasphemy is is ad, ad, admitting that you're not that. Do you know what I mean? Like it's such a uh, it's so it's so the op the exact diametrically opposed opposite of uh, everything imagined. Uh, everything imagined. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's the um, where the fear and the not fear kind of see because i can taste the uh, it is like the only way i can describe it is the electrical uh, because yeah. really there is nothing right and that nothing's not a nothing nothing it's a something it's a something that it's 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 still got to be it's not not it's not nothing in the definitions that the mind it's can not have. it's not gray and dull like come on no. you know we know yeah it's not it's not the gray and dull no. nothing that can be dismissed in the mind but what i mean by the is the countless the, it's the ever way the brain will dance on whatever floor it will dance either right. on fear or joy or excitement or yeah whatever it seems to dance upon yeah it's never none of it is real and no. they're there in but somehow i don't know how it's so how do you take a dance floor away from a dancer a dancer is going to be scared by definition if you take away all of its dance floor all of its dance floor what is a dancer without a dance floor but then so then do you need to get sick of the dance floor I don't know. Is that what happens? Do you get sick? Of, uh, do, do people get sick of the dance floor and then, then it's okay? Uh, it's either the dance floor and no one or 
Well, I, I think it's like the mountains or mountains and rivers or rivers thing. It's like, well, there never, there never, there, there never was the, the dance. See, the dance floor. There's never a possibility. There's, there's never yeah, a possibility. It, the, the language is always like the dance floor uh, imputes the idea of the dancer. So when, when we're talking about taking away the dance floor from out, sweeping the carpet out from under the one on no. the carpet, you're really the carpet and the one on the carpet, the dancer and the dance floor come as a, as a unit. Yeah. You can't have one without the other. So it's more just like a, a pointer to say, well, what if you had no place to dance? That's more like, it's really just like saying, what if there wasn't a dancer? Mm. Which is like step B of step A, what if you couldn't dance anymore? Well, that would be death. Step B, what if there was never a dancer? That's like before death. So what, and what is that even pointing to? I have no fucking idea, but I have a taste in my in my that 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 is bursting from my pores that is like that that non dance floor dance floor that that uh absolute nothing to everything that absolute everything nothing that is like you can't take away you can negate 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 but you ain't going to be able to finally there's going to be something that can't be negated and what is that <sighs> that this or you can go directly to what is this? This with all this stuff that could be negated but doesn't have to be. Either either way is like really the same fucking thing, really. And yeah. yet it seems that we have to that you know that was an Adyashanti thing. You gotta dance out. He said you gotta dance out your dance. Mm. Dancer's gotta dance its dance out. That's well, the it. dancing will happen. For, yeah. and it could happen for yeah. I mean, the dancing just will happen. And there can be dancing for no one, you know. Da you know, I think you know that that's that feeling, right? Like so, but it can you call it dancing then? Uh, can you, you can, call? You, well, you can, but you, it's, you can because yeah. there's not. But um, and that may be what it's going to be called. Yeah. However, you know, somehow, which I don't know who sees through. You, you don't actually even see through the stories. It's just somehow, somehow, it's like, you know, it's, it's just somehow there's a subtle change where the stories are seen through. Yeah, but, uh, as stories. Because as, still, the, as the. But the, and then on the death bed, yeah, even the death, even death. Mm -hmm was never a possibility of being real. Right, right. That's, and, that's if, and of course, it, yeah. it was never a possibility, but still... The, it's the final game in the in the Oculus Pro. Oh, I mean, I lived it there. I'm after living death again. Like, I, know. I actually lived I know. it all, all the way to the... Uh, yeah, uh, I know. Oh, yeah. And, and it's... Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, I, uh, do I keep going? Or do I let go? Or do I not let go? Or do I keep going? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, off to the races. Like, yeah. See, and that's what's so cool is like, you know, it's the never ending, the never ending dance for no one. Like fucking poetry, poetry, poetry. But what the fuck else is there, you know? Like, but the, yeah, but you see, it is, you see, the, the absolute, let's fucking go for it, right? The absolute peace, <laughs> which isn't peace. <laughs> is the absolute peace yeah that passes it, all understanding well <laughs> is that none of anything is real yeah nothing yeah so, but that's the, that's impossible because you know i'm after living, impossible i'm after living and breathing death there and terrified myself right and right. Uh, you know what i'm saying it, all of the being born and even even an explanation or close or uh, yeah. do, 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 whatever it is, not not even right and not and not even not even not even not even yes yes and not and not even not even yeah not even, not even. and still uh, not even as parent be said because yeah and, and and forever like like uh and forever in the timeline of something imagining it could go well how long can you say you know. Do, 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 well, as long as you say it, I guess. As long like, as you say it, yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you're not saying and it. 
yeah. You're not saying it, Lovey. You're not yeah. saying it. But <laughs> it, seem, right. it seems so like great. it, though, to be fair. To be yeah. fair, it does seem oh. like it. And just I mean, so you I, know. I've built my, <laughs> like, you know, my, you know, I'm going I'm, to, I broke the seal, so I'm, I'm going to break it again. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> You're going to leave, you're good, you're good to leave me alone. I am. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Got a proper Guinness here now. Your bathroom is close by, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's great sound effects. Okay, good. <laughs> edit out or don't edit <laughs> out. I'll blast that up like a bum. <laughs> <laughs> Pump up the volume. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to. Yeah. <laughs> but then I actually had the thought, if I don't flush and he can hear it, people go, hey, wait a second, you didn't flush. You didn't, flush. <laughs> you didn't fucking flush that. What was I going to say? Oh, uh, oh I, sorry. Mm. You, you, do you not put that in the glass? Yeah, you know what? I have the glass here, but it yeah. gets to a certain point in the pub where it's just like, holy. No, just throw it all in. Oh, yeah? You don't even, all the way in. Bring it close, bring it close to the bottom. Push it in, push it in, and then just move it up. Move it up. Oh, wow. Move Look at it that. Up. It's like a lava lamp. Yeah, that's a pint, I'm hoping. So, and then give that a few seconds, like it's oh, pure. Rock. It's pu give that a few that. seconds to, to become. That. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Give that that little. Now it needs to be black all the way up to the white. Before I can drink it? Oh, Please, yeah. Frank, say I can drink it. <laughs> no, no. Go. I got to wait. I'm, I'm a slave to marketing. So, Good. okay. So when it gets all black, I'll put it down there. It's like a Bardo plane. I'll have to just wait. He, he showed me the mother light of the, of the actual Guinness, but I couldn't drink it until it was all... This is the mother light of consciousness, yeah. <laughs> until it was all black. <laughs> then I could drink it. <laughs> Even Here's an idea that I had. Here's an idea I had when I was peeing. I think you should do what I loved when you did that, uh, the two Franks talking to each other. Yeah, talking to myself, I, is this you? I think we're due for one and it would be really cool because you could have one going like, so now Frank one is like going, so, oh, so you're done now. Your seeking's over, right? <laughs> you know, and then the other one's going, yeah, but it didn't really matter. It wasn't really about, oh yeah. So now you're, well, how do I, how do I get? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm definitely going to do that. Got to do that. Because the dialogue I, that can happen to, like that, because uh, there, because from here, story. like, you know, for, for, you know, when Kenneth describes it or when I, uh, it, it's like there is a distinct uh, seeming paradigm shift between Frank one and Frank two, you know, like the, the Frank <laughs> that was the interviewer and the, the second Frank is going, I'm out of questions. I don't really, uh, the energy of the interviewer is gone. Like now it's just this and running on empty and that guy sitting in the chair talking back to the first one is going ah because there's a lot of comedy there too like yeah, no 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 no. Yeah. no uh, you, you take I, mean, it. I think that's a great idea it's, you, I, you gotta that's, do it i would watch that in fucking 19 times or no i mean th there's the scope there for my <laughs> the viciousness <laughs> it, 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 it's vicious oh, because, that mean, because uh, the first frank is going to be can get so mad at himself going because what are you looking it's for it's right it's right here dude it's like right <sighs> you see you mean, you're pissing me off when you say oh, yeah. that because so you've, oh you've got it then have you yeah what do you yeah mean? yeah, what do, you yeah. Mean? what do you mean oh yeah and okay. even if the first one started to plead like just tell me okay i'm not mad at you anymore i promise but just tell me how, yeah, what, what how can i be we're in that second chair please tell me how to get to the second chair yeah, and then what would he even say? Oh, know? he's probably just going to be really mean and say, you're <laughs> lying. You're just lying. So you're only fooling yourself. You're not fooling me. <laughs> fooling me. You look no different. <laughs> look at the stadium. And you've actually put on weight. <laughs> you've put on weight in recent times. So, so good. That's, is that, <laughs> yeah, is that it? Or you're liberated now. I think you're it says here. Look, it says here see. right there. Same dickhead, different day. Yeah. This is it right in the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, it'll be oh, your belt is liberated anyway. That's you know. <laughs> your belt is uh, liberated, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I just think that's so cool. No, that's a great idea. That's going to happen. That's definitely that's that's on the. Cast. I just you know, and I don't know what it feels like. You tell me now, like uh, just the feeling of uh, sitting down to do, you know, the the last films that you've done, like. It's just like a, it's obviously being uh, 
that's what was so interesting for me to see before talking to you is it was obviously coming from uh, such a different place same place of course blah 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 but just such a it was such a marked uh differentiation in tone of where it was speaking from that it, it like i like i said it was it was pretty emotional like uh i, I just found it quite emotional actually like just the yeah, no, there, there was I, even a weird thing, and this is just drunk pub talk, but there was even a, and I think you actually, I watched something where you said, oh, that was by mistake, but there was something that started, and you didn't put the music into the opening credits, and it was like, uh, yeah, yeah. my brain kind of went, like, uh, now it's like you and your son in the water with, now it's the sound of the water, or... Yeah, I really love that. I love that, too. Yeah. Suddenly, when it wasn't there, you could see the... Yeah, that was like encounter for me. That was like, or the sound of the curtains when you pushed them aside before the camera went up and that yeah, look on your face. Yeah, it was brutally ordinary. Is, oh, yeah, brutally I, ordinary, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and there was something about that brutal ordinariness that was just like, oh, fuck. It was just like... No, I, was re I actually was really excited about the fact that there was no sound. And it's funny, then I got a message going, oh, where's the music? And... Right. But it just seemed, oh yeah, okay, no, but that music is amazing. I don't, I hadn't heard it, but that music, and just yeah. to hear it, yeah. But you see, the thing is, that's wonderful in, uh, which we kind of like is um, that. Uh, so you, you you've nothing to say, and then somehow you're doing right. you're doing something, and then you've nothing to say, and then suddenly right. you're doing something. Yeah. I you know I don't want to do podcasts asking somebody a question. I don't want to talk. I know that's a fact, though, really. Yeah. I mean, there is a kind of a, an energy. I don't know how you, in just general uh, days, feel when you, there's a sense that somebody's, they feel like they are talking at you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying by that? It's, yeah. it's very strange. Even yeah. now, I kind of go, okay, so you just need to talk at me now. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, it's not yeah. a, it's not a, it's not, not even a sharing. It's, it's just, it's kind of an energetic. Uh, yeah. There's an agenda uh, behind agenda, it yeah. somehow. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't feel agendaless. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but you yeah. know, like we had talked about before, like you, you start to develop an ear for that and uh, mm -hmm. you start to go, oh, you know, you attend, you start, you go on the sat song circuit and you don't, you don't need to be an educated, you know, you can just sniff that out right away. If there felt like, if, if it felt like, if it started to feel prescriptive or there was just something in the sound that had an agenda with it, it was like that uh, manifesto that you wrote for a while there that I read before our first uh, pub chat, that that was kind of the, okay, I, I actually, I've been around, I might not know exactly what I'm looking for, uh, and I might only know that I want to stop looking, but I know that that flavor is not going to have anything to do with that. That feels more wrapped around itself than ever, so I'm going to move over to something. And so you end up like uh, macheting your way through that non-dual jungle and getting down to a, some uncompromising, raw, like like a Kenneth type of thing where it's just like, you, you, you're going to get, you're not going to yeah, get ever chastised uh, for the searching, but uh, it'll man, be, that's what's going on, you know? I do know, man, like you'd, if you were in the bar with myself and Kenneth, you'd, you'd, you'd absolutely love the banter. You just, it's oh, this, I, I, it's what's I, happening I feel here. Like I love you already. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. this banter, but it's the same. You, you, yeah, I mean, Kenneth is, but here's an interesting thing now, and, um, and I definitely will, if we ever do put anything out, this will come out of it. But it's because it's because things can be heard in strange ways. So, yeah, yeah. but um, <laughs> when he comes back and checks this out, I obeyed all instructions, and I won't drink it until it's fully black. <laughs> I'm letting it get black. Oh, there you go. Lovely. There you go. Bring it in. Cheers, brother. I, should, I, I, need, I need to get a second glass here. You can't drink it yet. That'd be wrong. That would be totally wrong. 
So, so it's, you know, man, I, I just, I love you. I yeah, likewise. It's just so, uh, you know, we're kind of lucky we're not in the same country because it would just be, <laughs> it would be a, you know, it's yeah. good. It's good. Yeah. So many you never thoughts. know, Toronto uh, Film Festival. Yeah, man. That would be great. That'd be, a, I'd be, be a great okay. excuse. And be, That's going to have to be 2021, right? Like, uh, are they even saying that? There's going to be, are there, there going to be a festival, a TIFF in 2020? Uh, are they saying that to you guys? Like, we, you know. Well, I mean, we're on the website. Like, we, yeah. uh, and we're putting the film in. And whether like, I don't know it. if Cameron Bailey or whoever that guy is right now, like, you know, they're barely saying people can get into, I just watched something today uh, where it was uh, what movie, what the movie theater experience is going to be like and people getting into the social distancing. How do you have the cinematic experience in that? Never mind a, a, an international festival of festivals, you know, but anyway. Oof. But now, now, you know, the um, uh, one thing that's going to happen is the, uh, you're going to get the Oculus Rift, right? So, oh yeah. Uh, Fact, well, I'm... it's going to uh, apparently you can sit in the cinema with your friends, throw popcorn, and I mean, I can see it, and <laughs> there's a big, huge screen, right? And I would say, I would say that's how films are going to be launched, is in my VR, the... yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens, but... and then everything gets like you know, and it kind of harkens back to our other conversation, but like, well, so virtual reality like you almost have to take the words you know like virtual and reality so what's the what's the diff really like we've been talking about the helmet like isn't the whole frank and michael story wasn't that isn't that and wasn't that really just a heads up display believed in programmed ones and zero version of how that character sees the world and wasn't the seeing through of that going, oh, I'm not really walking the plank of my life as Frank. I'm walking the plank, but seeing the fact that I'm held by something behind me that is unconditional. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, well, yes, yeah, really good way to, um, that's a really good way to say it now. Uh, so I was totally getting into this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, virtual virtual reality thing, but it's a great way to say it's really the show, obviously. Yeah. Well, th <laughs> this is virtual the, reality. No, they're, 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 you know, it's reality. Uh, and reality always seems to present itself as virtual. So whatever your reality is, from, from reality, is pr from the rea <laughs> from the perspective of reality, <laughs> uh, it's just virtually it all the time there's no virtual about it it's fucking reality and that's it mm -hmm. but every um hierarchy every personal long-lasting independent entities version every encounter like we're all living the encounter version of our reality which is a virtual reality and and that virtualness is the thing that gets uh, seen through so that then and then which is always to me the most interesting question like what then then what do you then what like then then what the fuck then it's like your essay on running on empty like that, uh, that's the death in every moment though isn't it like it's, it's a death it's in every, every fucking moment, moment. moment. Yeah. yeah it's fucking because and the idea, death in every moment means the idea of birth <laughs> was mm. going to be uh, equally impossible. If the Etch-a-Sketch is shaking itself back to zero, every like a billion, quadrillion, infinite times, a fucking nanosecond, if it's zeroing out always like that, then I think, as I said in our first talk, where would you even put you? <laughs> Where would you put any story? Where would you put virtual, schmirtual, anything? Where would you even begin? All you can do is begin and then and then pretend to lasso the last little bit with the next little bit. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? And the next little bit and the next little bit. You still with me? You still with me? Next little bit. Oh, you're not with me anymore. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but it, but that whole thing becomes the what that that's becomes the virtual. Well, there was a there was a true part there. 
Like from that part there to that part there, that was true because that's the virtual part. But in the so, actual yeah. part, as opposed to virtual, if actual is the opposite of virtual, the actual is zeroing itself out. So, so that's that's what the part that I was trying to... Um, Nude is going to bed downstairs so she can hear me, but that was the part I was trying to explain, but I couldn't explain actually, and you've nailed it there in the sense of, I was coming out of it going, but like, I mean, that's supposed to be the unreal part, and this is supposed to be the real part. Can, we, can, I, can I get a hug? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which, part, yeah. which part is real? What, what are you talking about? Yeah. This is the real part. Yeah. There's not, there's not a, and yet it's, it's virtually real, like our lives, like your dad and my dad on their deathbeds, they were going for the door, you know, like that's real. That's, that's, that, that's real. It doesn't make uh, Ross, what's your dad's name, just so I can say it. Over. Uh, Michael. Michael. So Michael and Ross, you know, my name is Michael Ross Riley. Uh, Michael and Ross, they were, you know, going for the door is, uh, the program it's the it's the it's the virtual part it's the i'll tell you a story you know you tell me what happened so uh and i've tried to write about this a little bit i don't know whether it'll end up as any piece of anything but it just struck me so powerfully is that uh and so many stories about my dad but because that's our because we're like you know sons and fathers and that whole, the whole the whole way virtual realities begin uh, they're so front loaded with all of that you know like if i play a character i go well who was his mother mom and dad and what was his upbringing like because i can just like i know the ones and zeros like tell me right away that's the juice i'll know how to play him at 50 if you tell me who he was at seven and who his primary caregivers were and all of that shit you know but um but my dad just to cut to this story so after he passed, and he was certainly, you know, uh, I'm trying to like frame the story properly. Like he, he ran away from home when he was 12 and he lived with the Salvation Army for a while and he was an only child and, and he was escape from circumstances was his raison d'etre. It, it, that was his virtual reality is to kind of escape from currently uncomfortable circumstances became the gestalt of how that character moved. And the way he fell off the truck as a character was very, you know, cripplingly vulnerable and yet really smart and uh, just such a, you know, taught me so much as a young boy in that way, but also his vulnerability along with his, uh, um, intelligence was like a cocktail that as a young boy I couldn't quite digest perhaps but um, so anyway so many fucking stories of course you could tell me so many stories too but um, uh, after he so he, he he passed and I was there uh, in that moment and uh, which was also very interesting because it was all of very much during all of this stuff and uh, and the reaction to that and all of that. Uh, but after the fact, like, hey, cut hey, to, I, I would, I'm going to just bring you here. To just, yeah. Was there, did you see, was there relief? Did you see that relief that I was talking about? Uh, I did, but it wasn't until uh, I wasn't, there wasn't the smile on the lips that, that Michael had that you describe there was uh, like my dad couldn't go for the door but wanted to and there was there was an ebbing away of I'm not going to get to that door and so and also there was a lot of there was some dementia also in that and now a drug induced cocktail that was toward the end of life with the dementia all it did was put in uh, relief his story his his overarching story you know so i know there was peace in the end like at the very very end i'm holding a song in my iphone that was a song that he loved from a, a jazz song and i held it i was holding it to his ears and holding his i was holding his hand 
and my finger happened to be over his pulse and I'm holding the iPhone in the other hand and uh, I felt I, I felt his pulse thread and then go, I could feel it do its last, I felt it do its last beat and I'm still holding the song and something I knew he, this was still listening <laughs> and and even the, when the nurse came in, she said, oh, keep, you know, that's okay. You know, just keep, keep playing for him or whatever. And my sister was there. So intense in all of those ways, of course. But a couple of days later, that's a story I wanted to tell. He, um, we found, uh, we were going through his wallet and we found this um, card uh, that he'd obviously kept in his wallet for, ever but my mom didn't even know i didn't even know your father had this card in his wallet and basically the card was like a little uh it was a little laminated card and it was an animated picture of a <laughs> of a pelican with a frog in its mouth so the it's a pelican with a frog a, a frog soon to die <laughs> dying on the on in the mouth of the pelican and and the frog had its little you have to look closely at the picture to see its frog the frog the dying soon to be dead frog had its little tiny frog hands around the pelican's throat and and the caption was never give up <laughs> Uh, which is funny, but I also kind of went, wow, like, that's also like uh, my, 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 my father's uh, uh, karmic kind of like, uh, that was his, whatever that word is, that was his uh, raison d'etre, to never the, give up, you know? Uh, that's, the, that's the killer generation, but also, I mean, yes, you, get, you for know, sure. give up is... But to give up, but to but, give but, up, but to, give up is just is just as bad. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But that uh, was that, and so I ended up trying to write something about you know, well, what's in your wallet? I, I knew I wanted to end in the idea of well, we've all got a card in our wallet that we made even because my dad was had dementia, so he probably even forgot that he had that one in. We all, the survivors, came across a never give up card. But then when I replayed all the days in the hospital and where's the door and trying to pull his wires out and his things out and just uh, get away again, like he'd always done to escape yeah. one more time, was the whole forward moving character that was his that character that thing that, that is the character you know like so as an actor it was always like well what what card is in his wallet would be the same thing i would ask as an actor what what's in your wallet uh but i but i also because uh, it was all during the unfolding and with with my father to find that card it was like of course it's a card in his wallet that's like the never give up oh, but he was that. never going to and he maybe didn't quite get to the smile consciously but i know that you know when it was all over the on uh was more than the off and it was like okay you know like one way, the, one way or another one way or one way or another. it's over it's over yeah you you might not go quietly into this good night but when the good night takes you what's going to be good about it is there was never any night in the first yeah, place anyway. it, might, it, might, it might be shattered for uh, eternity yeah. and Crucified. But, but we've got forever, and so eternity, eternal crucifixion. All right, mm -hmm. could take a while, I guess. But yeah. in the great scheme of things, like something. Yeah, it's amazing. Not even nothing is possible. Not even the vast sorrow is possible. That's not the, even the vast sorrow is possible. Exactly. That's the, not even the, uh, the thought in my brain going, "Oh, yeah, if you were crucified for eternity, and then you have to accept that." And then you have to, this is no flash there, just this, and then yeah. you have to accept that and you have to, just, 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 just. okay, so that's not even, that's not possible either. Well, and that's and, what and, the last, and, the last and, time we talked was uh, like that, you were very much speaking from there. It was like, how could I possibly, how many times does this have to go? Are you still there? Are you still there? Are you still there? How many times would did this thing have to die and die and die and die and die again? Like how much, how many, what was it going to take? You know, and it took what it took. And then that's the thing about those experiences. One kind of like wakes up and the room comes back and you go and have a pint with the boys and talk about it. 
but in okay, let me and and so apparently in the next thing that happened with the frank character tell me about that like what is that uh you know when dying doesn't have to die anymore because what, what would that even mean or something like that you know what i mean so, my, so here, here that's my that's my pub question like if i was the other you know like okay so tell me you know describe to me the well you know frank what happened between the the last pub that we had and this pub uh that frank was seeking it's like the frank one and frank two that you're gonna do i hope you fucking do i'm gonna be like fucking all over that but between that frank and this frank there's some there's an energy that stops so what 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 is that and when did it stop and story 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 so tell me the story <laughs> yeah yeah right <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's when the crawl has to go across it. everything, every word out of the mouth of these two men. Yeah. Told them right now. You know, like you have to say it, viewer discretion advised. You have to like say that, but then it's like the, any other story we've told. It's like, it's a story that the mind is hungry for because it wants to know what that benign, profound, simple, complicated, you know, well, what, what is it? What is what is? <laughs> you see, it's like what's fascinated by living and talk. Yeah, I mean, like I suppose you see a kind of story. The storyteller, us, we are fascinated because we want to know. So you told the story that you were telling, and it's like, oh my god, all I want to know is what's going to happen next. Like, oh my god, what's going to happen next? That is the feeling. The feeling of the of the of the human moving in the world is, oh my God, what's going to happen next? When you write a script, you know a good scene will be constructed so that after that post, oh my God, what's going to happen next? That, and lo and behold, our lives are 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 predicated and designed that way, you know, and the end of our lives are predicated and designed that way, whether it's. Uh, virtual deathbeds or actual deathbeds, you know, if awakening or liberation could be described as a, as a, I, th I think I have to say it's an actual death, but I can't even say it's virtual. But so it why, is actual. So I, I, what is, what was your end? What's the end? If you, could you describe an end point, an end game? No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> That's why I'm asking you to, I can't, uh, I'm asking you to describe your non-version because I, for here, it's like something, uh, it's like I died on the way to a finish line of something. Like I, like during those eight years from 2012 to 20, whatever, during those eight years, uh, all of that seeking was everything had been taken off the table and there was this kind of like uh, intense kind of uh, isolation, <laughs> you know, pandemic, pandemic. I've been socially uh, isolating yeah. for eight <laughs> fucking years, you know, like, hey, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm like, you know, like, yeah. well, okay, like, uh, like uh, this ashram is like, uh, you know, that's, that's been the norm. Yeah. But it's during that time, time, there was never a moment where like, there were circumstances, a moment, epiphanal moments where it was like, oh, something I couldn't unsee was seen. I had a couple of moments like that, but they were like the meal or whatever. They were uh, experiences that were then going to be woken up to and, and, and normalized, like the new normal or something. Those experiences were just going to be normalized. So I would say in my description, it would be more like a, like driving along one day and looking in the rear view and going, oh, like like there was something missing in this driverless car and I didn't quite, I couldn't quite find my car keys of what that was. And then there was a kind of a dawning, oh, oh, that's what that was. It's like, a, it's like the, the falling away of the seeking energy came first and then there was a slow kind of retroactive dawning that what that meant was the one who was doing that but I couldn't put any words to that 
until <laughs> after the fact. And even now, it's like a, it's a pretty boring story. Like I would have, I would like to say I was walking across High Park and then I disappeared. It's it was more like good. a slow, it was a, a gradual dissolution of something that I almost kind of had to retroactively notice was the case. Because by the time it was the case, all of that was over. It's too late, yeah. It was too late. And so then it was like playing catch up to try to describe. And I, God, I don't even have a good event to talk about or God, I wish I had a good event or something I could really powerfully say that. And then that moment happened and, you know. You see, that's the fucking thing though. That's that, I, I saw, but that's the wonderful thing in the sense of, uh, because it's the clueless, because uh, there's nobody yeah. uh, doing nothing. So then obviously nobody's ever going to realize that there was never a stop or start. Right. Or Right. And that's the part where you're, oh, sorry, do you want to get into that? Because we can get into that, but I don't know what we're going to get into by oh. even that, that idea like of there was nobody ever, nobody ever. But, the, but there was a marked, see, for me in the storytelling, uh, there is a, you know, our conversation a seeming virtual year ago and our conversation now that uh had like i when i started when i started like looking at leaves and thoughts and having a good cry going oh my god like what like i knew that something that didn't happen had happened like i yeah. knew i knew virtually uh through through your movie making through your through your expressions uh, and, and, and my bullshit monitor is a high Richter scale monitor as well, like yours is. And so, I, but, so I was able, something here went, oh, whoa. And then by the time you said, uh, chat, like months and fucking months, I've moved now. I'm fucking like, and, and the story, everything's completely different. But like when you said chat, it was like fucking right chat. Cause I would love to hear the non- you know, the non-story story of the See, non-happening it's very, happening. It's very, I, that's why it's much better when you were talking, because I, I have not say. <laughs> and like, it's so... Um, but was there a, uh, if you, if someone forced you, like when you talk to Neil and Neil's and, and if Neil turns to you as a, as a brother and says, yeah, but Frank, when? Like, tell me, uh, so the non-duality, you were seeking, 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 and then suddenly you weren't seeking. Tell me, once upon a time, what was that? moment of suddenly not seeking about well, I, you would have I, to I, say something to neil well, you no, have to preface I, it with all the you know I, I, this doesn't mean anything and apparently apparently and bullshit bullshit and but I you see i probably probably wouldn't <laughs> but the, the only thing i would say is the same thing um i probably would I, I seem to say is refer to that particular uh the moment of the loop closing that's the, that's, the, that's the only thing that I would... I was that say. lip closing in the experience that we're talking about in the movie or was that after, uh, was no. that lip closing after? Yeah. It was really, 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 really apparent. Right. That a uh, five MEO would have led to 10 MEO if, right. if any experience was valued. Right. It, I kept saying the end of days happened, but it was in, it was in spite of... It That's a, right. But so, but so, but, but here's my confusing, uh, like, so when you say that, uh, see, I want to say, end of days. Yeah, it's like, say, cause I, I, cause I talked to you five days after you had that experience, but from, from the point of view here, something else stopped happening sometime after that. Yeah. That had nothing to do with, uh, as far as I know, all I knew is that we had that happened. We had that discussion five days later, and then I started seeing filmmaking and poetry that was speaking from a completely different place. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Oh, that'd be a great pub chat." And uh, so it's, it's like it's like a it's like a Greek tragedy. It's like a Greek play that happens off stage. Like I'm my brain wants to know. Well, what was the moment? Was it in your backyard cleaning up dog shit, or was it? You know, like like my the brain wants to just uh, tell well, a story. Okay, but so obviously nothing happened. 
yeah and then with that news <laughs> cheers but, to that <laughs> <laughs> thank god thank god but uh, thank, uh, thank god, uh, thank yeah. god. <laughs> thank you, god. just a little shout out for himself because he's been suffering a long time so shout yeah. out to god shout out yeah. to god just uh, <laughs> one the big up to god here <laughs> so uh, that's so great um <laughs> so no, it was probably a, probably ages after the fact, maybe. Mm-hmm. Where it was, I wrote down at the time. I wrote down a few words, um, amazing words, on yeah. the, but I've lost them now. <laughs> I actually have. I sent yeah, them. Have you? Oh, wow. you know, I sent them on, but I had to change my phone because it, uh, anyway. But um, I I, prob- I wrote what I it's, I wrote basically weeks later going. Uh, this uh, you see obviously it's apparent because right of the, course. Because, of, because there's nobody doing right. anything then how how can uh, how can i have got something from doing me right right so then uh, when i'm uh, writing uh, down uh as i think i wrote any question that can be asked is being done and therefore I, this was this just seemed to i seem to read this as I was writing it, if you know what I mean. Right. Yeah. So I, I think I wrote some. This is really beautiful now. Um, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Hold, hold on. Because okay. no, nothing happened. Like, but, um, <laughs> but, go, but let's go there anyway. So yeah. I'm there on my phone. Like, and it was just that moment of uh basically writing and thinking and talking and or in my, and whatever it was 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 and the, the words were something like um uh, no I can't remember. Yeah you can. <laughs> I can okay. You remember. You remember. So it was basically uh, any question that I could possibly ask is being done. Yeah. Therefore any realizations also being done. Right. And right. It, was, it was in that moment right. the, the the belief. So you, you could yeah. you could say that was yeah, and that's that. beautiful, right? Like that, and and again, we all, you know, we always have to predicate it with, you know, the we're talking about something that happens outside of time, uh, and yet looking back from the character's point of view, that that outside of time thing happens, that's very much in time. So the, you know, well, I was sitting in my favorite place now on the planet, by the way. If you ever oh, come yeah. to our, if you ever come to Ireland, I'm going to show you this. Uh, we, see, we, bought, we, we bought this place on a on a hill mm, at, nice. the, at the country here and yeah. it's it's the best view on the fucking planet right. i mean it's it's um but i was sitting there in that moment in time so that's by yourself on my own yeah apparently yeah, yeah, yeah. On my own, yeah. i was totally yeah. on my own yeah apparently yeah yeah but there was no apparently i was on my own actually mm. that, 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 that wasn't apparent right right <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Uh, and that's, I suppose, the possibility hmm. of a seeker died, maybe. Yeah, right. Like you, you could say that that was the moment it, that, that that was verbalized. Where, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Where the, yeah. And see, that's why, you know, and I understand and I completely uh, commiserate with the reticence to... Uh, encapsulate something that can't be encapsulated because it is outside of time. See, that's why this, the Black Hole Pub is such a rare pub is because, you know, we're talking about, uh, we're allowing, this is like being held on the plank, talking about the last part of the plank. It, it has a, it's, it's held in that it's gonna have a, the end of us, the end of all stories, <laughs> Is going to be a story, you know. Uh, well, actually, I, I I went on driving down the country road, yeah. And afterwards, I left that little spot, drove on the road, and you know what the reaction was? What? The reaction was, I don't know how to react. Mm-hmm. Was, the re- was the reaction right? That, that I, and and in then there was stunned. Was yeah, la- la- I was laughing. Right, I was yeah. crying. I was going, is this the reaction? Is what's the re- what is the reaction? I don't know yeah. what the reaction. I don't know what the reaction is to this. Yeah, yeah. And then the brain plays that catch up. It plays the, it's trying to like enter time again to uh, try to describe something off the table of all descriptions. Uh, And so it's going to laugh and cry and do all the things that it does in the wake of being like uh, 
it just, it, it wasn't going to be, it, it was never going to have anything to do with what was seen. The mind was never going to have anything to do, almost to a fault. The mind was going to have to be the thing. It's like you wrote yourself out of it. Like almost the words themselves, it was like, well, if it's like, a, it's like one of those uh, Mobius, it's like you were on a Mobius strip going, well, if this is all being done, then, and then even these words are being done. And that means like, so on something sees the Mobius strips and goes, okay, well, are, are, are you, are, is the Frank story ready to get off of the Mobius strip? That's what I meant about like, it's not that Frank suddenly got, you know, exhausted and let go of non-duality. It's that jazz hands this just for what no no reason whatsoever let go of the Frank right there in the middle of that character writing something. Yeah, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know. know whether, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Like exactly. We and it's all poetry, poetry, poetry because you can't come after that. See, we're back on the oh well, yeah no 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 but just <laughs> you see uh, it's kind of that uh, moment uh, you see there's always that moment though you see that's yeah. uh, um and this is juice for the see that's why I can cast a mind back to going I think I went around that Saxon circuit like oh, no, 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 don't, don't you dare leave the building until you tell me Tell me that thing, because uh, because then I could at least have a place to hope to be one day, or if I could somehow be writing something and suddenly realize, like I, that's how the mind works. So, the you know what is, I mean? But the mind is, but the mind is trying to always do whatever. It's amazing, like the mind is yeah. always trying to capture. It's basically the fisherman. It's basically yeah. always trying to even. Even by uh, this, like, it's still trying to just go, yeah. oh, well, this could be, it's, it's just always, it's always just talk. Or it's always and it will talk. never succeed. It, and, but but the, the recognition, the immediate real-time recognition that it will never arrive, it will never arrive, is the arrival in that way. You know, like when they say, like, you know, the Dzogchen Buddhists say, you know, when you, when you search for the nature of mind and you don't find the nature of mind, that's finding the nature of mind. What? But that is completely exactly what it is. Yeah, but can I ask, so this idea of, fall, of falling, you know, all this falling, it's, yeah. you see, the, I think it just, the, the mind thinks there's a resting or Listen, well, the mind this. even thinks it's falling. The mind even yeah. invents the idea of falling. Something, a high place, it's jumped off, it's falling, there's a bottom coming or not coming, it's falling. Free <laughs> fall is, a ver is, is in language. And so I'm free fall... I, 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 do you know what? I, I would fall for every story on the planet. Like, I, I, sometimes I feel like I'm the most fucking naive uh, possibility that the world has ever known because I genuinely would fall. I would fall for anything and at the same time not. But you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like, I actually would. It's like the virtual reality game. Yeah. I mean... And, I, and you know what I think, uh, formerly known as Frank Artist, oh, okay. uh, is I think that those two things together are what created the scenario for this falling away to happen. That you would, you know, the, the self-proclaimed I would fall for, I'm willing to put on any set of goggles and go, holy fuck, that's the truth. And at the same time, your bullshit monitor of going, yeah, but hang on, that's got a bit of an agenda and there can't be an end point to this. There, I already know there's no prize at the end of this. So that sounds like a prize. So that's a bull, that's bullshit. I got to call bullshit on that. Those two vectors were, were destined <laughs> to uh, rise and meet and cancel themselves out. You know what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Your absolute bullshit monitor and your absolute, well, tell me another story. Like I'm, uh, the, I, I'm, uh, I'm willing to be hypnotically entranced because that's what the mind is. The mind is hypnotically entranced by whatever little thing is dangled in front of it. And so our, you know, as an actor, I that's a story. That though, a, that's totally, story. totally. <laughs> but, but it, but it is a character like, you know, like 
the it's why hypnosis works you know it's like it's like why uh i could pretend i was someone i wasn't in front of a, a lot of people i could pull off that magic trick because of that understanding of that hypnosis of, of how how stories are are getting to get into the mirror yeah. the yeah. mind is is like a it's so just like it's a it's a you don't have to do nothing you it's nothing it takes a little tiny yeah, tiny it. pebble and it will but, just go <gasps> that's i think like half the time i'm going i'm going see this is, this is really interesting because like half the time i'd be going okay any possibility that we don't uh, everybody just have to pretend that this is all real can we right. just just even for a moment can we just yeah. not play right can we just have a like this is you know what I mean by that? Like, can we yes. just have a chat? And everybody, it's all so real. Like, I know. Everybody lives just real characters and roles. Now, you must have, you must in the, in the part of this aftermath, uh, I know for me, uh, it's almost like a, an allergic reaction to like, uh, it's like you almost forget that the consensus worldview, like we live in a world of muggles uh, not as a pejorative thing, you know what I mean? Like, like this, what's really happening, quote unquote, isn't of interest to 99.999% .99 of the population in some way. It just, even though that's what's hosting and they, of course, every 100% is completely interested in it because that's what they are. And yet there seems mysteriously to be this, yeah, 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 but I'm just getting about my life and getting my ducks in a row and I found a woman I love and I got some kids now and I got a job and I'm just trying to just get through now, you know? I hear what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, you know what I mean? What you're saying, but, <laughs> <laughs> there's just <laughs> there's there's all of that and then there's this kind of and meanwhile jazz hands not just, and, not just pretend not pretend for a little can we not just pretend and even when we do pretend it's like i thought i watched you, you said something in a uh i forget who it was but recently i saw you in uh in one of your videos going like uh it's like we, we just have to just can we just stop for a second and just bravo man like we all, mm -hmm. or even in your thing, it's like we all deserve Academy Awards. Like, oh my God, I'll get right back to that furious fight I'm having with yeah. you right now. But can we just pause for a second to go, <laughs> cheers, brother? Like, wow, <laughs> Academy Awards, man. Yeah. Like, you yeah, are, that's, that's all. It's two o'clock, so we started at seven thirty. Seven, eight, nine. We did seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we haven't even started. We haven't even started. We haven't even started. It's fucking yeah. mad, that isn't it? The yeah. parent of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I. If this was a conversation where we were, uh, we, I mean, I not even. We haven't even started. Like we haven't even begun haven't, to talk about it. We barely scratched, like, and that's going to be always the fucking case. Like, but that's what I love so much. Like, you know, that's why brother, brother, that's why. Uh, that was just, it's just mental, isn't it? Though? Like, really, when you, you know, 
wonderfully. Yeah, wonderfully, even, man. You know. right. All right, brother. I love you. Right. <laughs> if we were in the pub, I would go. <laughs> we're not going home. One more. What's <laughs> one more? I would fucking call it. I'd yeah, call another one for fucking sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh, all right. I'm going to go to sleep. All right, brother. I love you. I, I, talk, I love you, too. Take it easy. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Okay. Hi, if you like the conversation that I just had and you'd like more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.